Hello everyone and welcome to Harlequins Live presented by Silverberg and today at the Stoop it is cause for celebration. We celebrate reaching the playoffs, we celebrate the Pride game, we celebrate uh, Mike Brown and all of the players who are leaving us at the end of the season and we celebrate you as supporters because you've been unbelievable this year. So this is our last show of the term so just thought I'd take this early opportunity to say thank you. Joining me today at less of a guest more of a co-host because you're here every yeah. week and back by popular demand big tex good to see you man good to see you too yeah. are you well very well and i'm very excited for today and uh good to have my last um um uh, live with you uh, today so it's gonna be i'm gonna miss you man please don't <laughs> please don't tug at my heartstrings we haven't even got started I yet know, yeah. but it's going to be an amazing yeah, day today uh, i've got to talk about the competitions first guess how many shirts we've got to give away today uh, seven. Oh, ruined it. Four. <laughs> uh, but we do have four shirts today across three competitions. Yeah. Uh, the first is, who do you think will be the first try scorer? Who do you think will be the first try scorer first today? First try scorer today, probably Ben Tupperway. Oh, his last game. yeah. You know, he was he's a little bit emotional. I met him in there. He was a little bit emotional for me. So I was like, okay, this guy's ready to go. Well, if yeah. like Big Tex, you think it's going to be Ben Tapawai, then get your guesses in on Facebook or YouTube. All you have to do is put first try scorer and the name and you could win a jersey. The second competition is last try scorer. Who's going to get the last try today? Uh, try scorer for me, probably one of the bench. So... Uh, I'm going to have to rush you. Oh, um, Luke Northmore. Luke Northmore. I think. Oh, yeah. Always back He's always Luke Northmore. coming. I don't yeah. know. He's, every time he comes off the bench, outstanding. And he just lifts the boys up the way he plays. So he's going to be very, very important. And I think he's going to be the line breaker and the last try scorer. Line break, Lukey. Again, if you think it's going to be Luke Northport, then just get last try scorer and the name, and you'll be in that competition. Also, it's usually two shirts we give away. We've got four because we have a couple nice. of home jerseys with 15 brown on the back. There's going to be a great tribute to him at full time and tributes throughout the day as well. Um, however, uh, if you want to be in with a chance of winning those jerseys, again, in the comments section, wherever you're watching, just get your tributes to Mike Brown coming in. What have been your favourite moments with him as a Harlequin? Uh, what would you like to say to him as he's leaving for Pastors New? Newcastle Falcons of all places. Um, so get those messages in and we'll be picking two of the best ones and you've got the chance to win in a jersey. Incredible generosity. Yeah, perfect. Uh, anyway, how has your week been? Obviously, the big news that you're not going to be with us next season, but before we talk about that, yeah. let's just talk about the sunshine and the positivity about the place. Yeah, so uh, this week has been really low for the boys, like just downloading, going back to our basics and uh, getting ready, our set up platform ready for the semi finals. So uh, everybody's been in a good mood, very chill. So today's going to be very exciting because uh, they had a week off uh, last week and uh, they're ready to go. So we just want to like. Just another jump start, just to be ready for a semi final against hopefully Bristol. Just keep saying semi final. Semi final, let's go! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> uh, and you were involved uh, up against Sale. Let's forget yeah. about the score. Don't worry about that one. And talk Ladies about, and gentlemen, don't worry about that one. But talk about some of the lads that were involved. You were back oh. in the famous jersey again. Um, How was the experience? One thing that impressed me the most were the young, uh, young uh, academy boys that stepped up, Finn, um, Oscar. They were just absolutely outstanding. Through the week, the way they prepared was just like for me it was like for young 1920 20, I wish I had there they were they were just so driven they were just like and I feel like this team um, at the amount of people they're leaving we've got a, a, bit of a really good setup for the young boys coming through lots of stars and lots of internationals that's some prediction <laughs> I hope you're right and you say in 1920 god that seems oh, like a man, long time I was, ago I was in Suva just chilling out in the beach somewhere you know like these guys are already training and then you know so like the way they are so focused now it's just like uh, it'll carry a long way for them because I can see the, the motivation and the, the way they want to play for the club and how much it means for the club. So I think it's going to be they're going to be a very very well known players coming through. We are going to have such a good day today. I can't wait. <laughs> um, but Lewis Liner back in the squad today yes. had a great start to the season. Everyone's really oh. excited about his career as a Harlequin. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on him as a player, as an individual? Um, he was uh, for me. He was like very reserved, very quiet. He's laid back but he listens he listens to everything and when he came on to pitch he's just he reads the game so well the way he's attentive to everything back three is so well
well, like well coached. Probably his dad is probably feeding him every this. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very very impressed with him, and I'm I won't be surprised. <coughs> If he scores a try today, because he's always been, I don't know, like, like, he doesn't look too, but he's always on it, like every time, he doesn't make a, he hardly makes a mistake, hardly miss a tackle, and for me, those kind of players, as a club, it's like goal for us, and uh, going through the uh, semi-final, it's a big part of his team as well. So, yeah. Maybe a tip for first try scorer, if you're into <laughs> no, the yeah. guessing game, uh, but he is back in the side today, and it is great to see Lewis Liner in the quarters, and we caught up with him earlier in the week yeah no it's been um quite a frustrating few months for me obviously i had that good stretch of games um before the newcastle game. i think newcastle away was my last game that i played in and it's been pretty tough just seeing all the boys um have that have a lot of wins playing their best sort of rugby and obviously it's good to see that but also i've been dying to be part of it so it's been really great to felt really good coming out of cell after the game felt really good so and going ahead into this week against newcastle obviously i'm feeling very pumped for it to have fans back in the stadium, having a full 4,000 there, just cheering and it will be quite an experience. How nice was it for you to be up there in, in Sale, up in Manchester with Finn Baxter and Oscar Beard, like three of you Academy boys um, out there, both of those two making their Premiership debuts? Yeah, no, back in Oscar, I was, uh, I was really proud to see them come out there, especially Oscar, he started against a full strength sales side not, and played very well up until unfortunately his injury and seeing how he performed is just refreshing again to see how an academy boy can step up. It's his first, he's, an, he's a centre, he's not a winger and he, he starts and compete against some of the league's best, it was amazing to see and Finn as well coming on scrummaging against international props and doing a great shift in the last 20 minutes, I mean he's 19, not many props can do that and um, I couldn't be more proud of both of them. And uh, we look at to the Newcastle game now, a game where we're going to have crowds at the stoop again, not for the first time, but for the first time for you. Yeah, no, this is going to be the first time I've played um, in front of a crowd in a long, long, long time. I mean, basically since school or the Premiership Cup a few years ago. And I mean, it's going to be quite nerve wracking leading up to it. And uh, We've got a very strong side out and I, I, I can't wait to get back out there because it's been so long. And it's going to be the first time my family gets to see me in, in a crowd situation in the, playing in the Premiership. So having them there, knowing I'm going to be running out to not only a full crowd, but them in there cheering for me is going to be very special to me. And um, you're obviously starting on the wing this weekend against Newcastle, a team that is known for their attacking intent and, and some good wingers they got as well. Yeah, no, they do have a, they have a very good squad, very strong, physically strong as well. Like to play through us and around us. They've got some very good wingers. I think Adam Randwan might be playing. So if he's on my wing, it'll be a very good test to where to see where I am amongst the league's best, and hopefully I can do a job and get the win. That was Lewis Liner, and just looking behind us, Marcus, Marcus going through his warm-ups, pointing at the sticks. Hopefully, he uh, gets a few more through the uprights than he did last <laughs> time, but the less said about that, the better. Um, we talk about the positivity around the club and how we're all yeah. moving in the right direction. Yeah. Massive part of that is the women's team. There's going to be a trophy presentation later, Premier 15's champions. Yeah. How awesome is that to have yeah, another trophy like, in the cabinet for Queen's? Outstanding by the girls, and um, we all like backed it up. All the men who were reading it, they're like we all watched the game so it was so good for them to uh, win it and now we like we, we actually puts us in like a little bit of pressure so we like we need to perform now because they've won something so loud can we have two hey who knows hey, only time will tell <laughs> only time hey, <laughs> when you say it's only three wins away from being champions it sounds easy but uh, we are now gonna Oh, I thought he was coming for us then. I had a little chat just now to Eddie Green and Sarah Beckett. They were brilliant as always. This is what they had to say. It is time to talk to some champions. Hi. Um, what an amazing achievement you guys have managed to complete this season from not knowing whether we were going to have rugby at all. You've ended up lifting a trophy with an incredible group of players. Um, how has it been? Yeah, it's been been pretty good and um, we've had a couple of weeks off but I think we needed it after the celebrations so yeah. <laughs> I think it was good recovery time. I can't believe you've said you need a week off because of the celebrations <laughs> not because of the gruelling season you've had and um, give us a give us an insight into those celebrations then because we had a chat and I know what you're about what were your celebrations like? I think it's been a long long three years so to finally get a win it was pretty pretty special and uh, as you can imagine like Beckett alluded to already that the celebrations were very 
hard and, and long, I must say. And deservedly so. And um, let's talk about that three years then, because the, the success of the club has been pretty incredible. Uh, I mean, the Premier 15s as a tournament has been brilliant. And taking your, your Harlequins allegiances out of it, to have a new name on that trophy, it's important for the women's game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. So. And you yeah, go, you go. go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's hugely important. I think it shows that the league's becoming more competitive. I think, you know, Exeter this year came out the gates, beat Saracens, beat Harlequins, beat the two, two people who were in the final, um, and they're brand new to the league. So I think that competitiveness is really important across the league. But how did that happen with Exeter, by the way? Because I had a little look at the, at the league table again yesterday, and they went on that unbelievable run, beat you, beat Saracens, beat Wasps. I mean, what was going on down there? I mean, Sandy Park, even for in the men's game, it's like a pretty hard, hard place to, hard place to go and play, especially with the with the fan base and and I suppose the club they have down there. I think that's definitely transferred over to the women's side, 100%. Like they're such a passionate club, and it's, it is it is a hard place to go and play. I must admit. Let's talk about today then. You get to parade the trophy as champions to to get the applause of the uh, adoring crowd. Obviously a new experience doing it as a Harlequin, winning the trophy for the first time. Um, are you looking forward to it? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous to see where yeah. the cup actually is. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it for a while. So uh, yeah, no, it'd be good to to hopefully show some new fans what, what we've done and see what show them what they can come and watch next season um, when, when we're back at it trying to trying to go for it again. Do you like playing here? Oh yeah, 100%. Like, even without the fans, it's, it's a special ground anyway and just with the fans being back, like we had in our semi-final was a completely, completely different level. Like, I suppose it's going to be the same today, like the, the noise, the atmosphere that they bring is, is second to none really and that, being at a club like Quinn's as well, it's pretty, pretty like, there's no, nothing really rivals it at the moment. Absolutely. I, I mean, I was lucky enough to, to sneak around in, in the Mike Brown bar over there uh, and see the, the shirt presentation ahead of the final. And it was the, the first chance I've had to see you all as a group. I mean, I've, I've met a few of you individually and spoke to you in small groups, but it was the first time I've seen you all together. And it really does seem like a special group of players who really get on, of coaching staff who are all pushing in the right direction. Give us a, a bit of an insight into, well, firstly, whether or not I'm right or whether or not it's all for show and you actually hate each other. Um, but it does seem like, like, like a special group, a really good sort of age demographic as well. It's a team that, despite being champions, is still going places. Yeah, no, so I think it's pretty, pretty good to say we all hate each other. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, no, I, I love every single girl that's in that room, every member of staff. Um, I think everybody is just so focused on doing what's best for the team. Um, I don't think there's any player in there who doesn't do what's best for the team. So I think knowing we've all got that that aim and collective goal, um, and we all push each other to be better, is so. I, I think it's been so special to be a part of this season, um, and hopefully next season going forward as well. So what happens next season then? Let's have some, some team goals, but also some personal goals as well. Where do you see yourself if we have this conversation the in spot? the sunshine yeah. in 12 months' time? I mean, I hope we're here again with another trophy, that's, that's for sure. And then, obviously, for Beckett and the World Cup, hopefully she can, this time next year, she'll be off to New Zealand going and lifting that trophy. So we could be in a very different, having a, two different, very different conversations next year. So what you've done there is a humble brag and given her <laughs> yeah. an ambition yeah. and no ambition yeah, of your no, own. No pressure on that ambition either. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, to go and win it again would, would be 100% the dream and just obviously be back here with more fans hopefully once all the restrictions are hopefully lifted soon so that's <laughs> definitely it if you do go to the world cup do you promise to do me a favor well, it depends what it is go easy on wales <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got we haven't got them in our group so you have to ask the kiwis about that and i'm not sure they're they're up for taking taking deals like that yeah. Maybe in the final. I can dream. <laughs> yeah. um, right, well, today is going to be great, and I can't wait to see you out there in the sunshine, uh, getting the applause from the adoring crowd. Huge congratulations. It's been a joy to watch you and be on the journey this season, and thanks very much for having a chat. Thank yeah, you so thank much. Thank you very much. Great to hear from those two, and I'd quite like to be involved with their celebrations as well, because they sound like they have a, a, a good crack. Uh, talking about celebrations, the fans have been unbelievable this year, and it's not just been us here at Harlequins who've tried to get people involved. Uh, the Two Woods and Four Quarters podcast has launched as well. They really want you as a guest 
I'm happy to do it. Yes, I'm, very, I'm, I'm waiting for them to give me a call and then we'll do something, you know? If there's any kind of money involved, I just a small management fee, <laughs> okay, all right? Okay, small gotcha. management fee. Right, uh, but will go, go you through, commit to that? Dave. Will you commit to that right now? You'll go on that yeah, podcast. I'll, I'll go on the podcast, yeah. So good, so good. Uh, anyway, I chatted to the lads. They are back here for the first time in a long time. And as you can imagine, they're pretty excited to be here. In terms of fan engagement, it turns out that we are not the only cool kids on the block because there is a fantastic, albeit bootleg, Harlequins podcast, and these are the brains and the looks behind it. I will let you decide which <laughs> is which. Uh, how are you, boys? Very well. Um, Very well. Welcome back or welcome home? Which would you prefer? It's definitely welcome home, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's definitely yeah. welcome home. When was the last time you were here? For me, not too long ago, I came for the, the women's Wasps game semi-final a couple of weeks back, so it's going to be a different kind of day today, I think, with a few departures, but... Yeah, not too long ago, but in terms of a full-on, full-blooded match day. You're selling that a, a bit short, ago. actually, because you were here uh, when the women oh, trained true. just before that the final. Yeah, I don't true. know if any of you saw that brilliant piece that uh, Adidas did with Jess and the skipper, but you were uh, you were heavily involved with that, weren't you? Yeah. Thank Look you. at you. Such a humble brow. <laughs> I'll, take, that, I'll yeah. take the praise there. Yeah, no, that was just a little bit of, bit of the day job, uh, creating a bit of content for Adidas UK to, to celebrate what was a win in the end. Mm. Um, we recorded it ahead of time and yeah, really, really pleased with it. Um, go check it out. Yeah, it was very good. So he was here for the women's match. You weren't. Bath test event a couple of years ago, Robbo's last home game. Oh, what, so that one that was like, snowed off that uh, didn't happen? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. What a poor day that was. But no, right, Will's day job is a lot cooler than mine. I'm you know, slogging around with kids on games field, so it's a lot less cool my day to day routine, but yeah. no, it's good to be back. And it's, I genuinely woke up this morning feeling a little bit excited about myself. Amazing. So good to have you guys back and everybody. Um, he's talking about being a PE teacher there. What you can't see because of the camera Do angle camera are the most unbelievable sock marks. That camera up. <laughs> but we'll save your blushes. Um, so, podcast, there's a lot yeah. of positivity around the club. We found that with everything uh, that we've done with this show. And one thing that, that I've learned is that the supporters of this club are amazing and they've made me feel incredibly welcome. How's the response been to, to you guys starting the project? It was weird because like, I came to games on my own at the start. Like, I came to Union in 2017 in Twickenham. I used to come on my own, I used to sit in the South Stand and I used to like, meet a few people. But then, obviously, we're looking forward to meeting people today because we've only ever known them on like, a tiny little yeah. line on the screen. And we've had photo. so much like, good feedback and chat from people has been amazing and just having something to interact with during the week. I don't think we've had a single bad review, even from our single on the last episode. I got a few <laughs> kicks, but honestly, it's been it's been really really cool. And like for us, meeting people like yourself, a bit of a humble one there, and just like talking to the players, like people are so happy to listen to it, which is really nice for us. And yeah. So why did you do it to begin with? Because it seemed like quite a weird time to start. You didn't start yeah. it at the start of a season. In fact, was it the start of? 2021 the start yeah, of this year January this year yeah. so we haven't lost at home in the league since you've had no, a podcast we'll take credit for it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually had a, a run of about five games where we won every single one since we started and we thought well there's, there's definitely uh, a parallel here yeah um, not superstitious at no, all no, no, but no, exactly um, but yeah no we kicked it off in January because a we grew up in quite different parts of the country so mm. our kind of main connection was quids so we whatsapp every single game and it was, that was our way of staying in touch we thought, why don't we just start talking about it instead? Custard had just left us. Um, there was a few rumours of players leaving, and then a couple weeks after, DC resigned. So we had loads to talk about, um, and there was no better way of doing it than getting on a podcast. Well, it certainly worked, and I've, I've become a fan. Uh, very often, I think I've sent you a couple of pictures of me out on a jog, and I've got a <laughs> shout out. <laughs> um, you've had some great guests. So for people yeah. who, who haven't listened to the podcast yet, do check the guys out. It is free to listen at the moment. Uh, but you had uh, Scott Steele, yeah. Lewis Liner, um, Rachel Burford, Jesse Mayhew, Chris Robson, Chris Robson, the big one. Chris That's a real humble brag for us. I've been yeah. logging onto the laptop and I was thinking, there's no way this place could even show up. This is ridiculous. And he pops up and we're like, he was Chris, great, he? <laughs> he was great because we we always don't we have that Quinns angle, obviously. But all of a sudden, my mates who aren't Quinns fans were like, oh, I'm actually going to listen to this one. So it's good to get someone like him on. So let's talk dream guests then. Who would you love to have on the show? We've mentioned it a few times. I mean, I know yours. Yeah. I know he's leaving. Brownie's obviously been my like him and Nev were my two yeah, heroes. Nev. I had photos of him on my wall. It's sad, but <laughs> maybe now he's leaving. We won't get him. Another one we've joked about. I'm from the same sort of area as Joe Marler, and I know he's a fan of the Six Bells and Chilling. I'll give him a little shout out. Yeah. I've always said post-season, maybe when he's allowed to have a, maybe a drink, 
we'll do a live episode from the 6002 line, I'll buy the beer, but that would be, that would be class, whether it'll happen or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, I Maybe sell tickets for that one, get a bit of revenue. Yeah, do a live yeah. one. Do a live yeah, one. Time, yeah. I'd love to get Tex on. Yeah. I'd love to get Tex on. Uh, great character, I think it'd be such a fun episode. Like, I don't know how much rugby we talk about, but I don't think it matters, it'd just be a good time. So He's going to be knocking about in a minute, I know, he's, I know. he's on the show again. We DM each other quite a bit. He's practically the co-host, yeah. to be honest. He's just got this just aura of, of loveliness yeah. about him, he's such a great human. All the outtakes. Well, they've, they, again, maybe there's something you can charge for. Another course of celebration today is the Pride fixture. Harlequins right at the forefront of continuing to make rugby a game for everybody and it is a game for everybody isn't it? It's a game for everyone. I think every club should be proud of this uh, moment and uh, I'm very happy that Hello Queens is the forefront of that and uh, it's very one of the swept underground most of the years but I feel I feel as a Pacific Islander coming from him uh, this is perfect uh, platform because we I'm very happy because uh, growing up in Fiji I had like friends uh, sisters who are like gay and they were like a little bit judged but to me I would never judge them as the way they are so I why should I stop something? Because they never treat me the same. So yeah, so that's why it's something that kind of touched me when um, Hello Queens were like about the gay price, so yeah, it's pretty good. Well, it's the second time it's happened. Last year, there was a great piece with Leah Lyons and Marcus Smith, and the continuity continues. I caught up with the project lead a little bit earlier. Lots of messages here, lots of ways that you can get involved to so check this out. Well, now let's get some proper insights from the project lead on this and uh, much, much more, actually. James, welcome. Hi. Big day. It is, and the sun is out. Different yes. to our last Pride game, and we had to grapple with Storm Dennis. <laughs> I'm sure it was a fun grapple. Um, this feels like an important day, important because it's happening, important because of the continuity of the event. Um, what's the build-up been like? How excited are you? Give me some news. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic that we've been able to do this. Um, fantastic we have supporters mm -hmm. in, uh, in the stoop. I think that the, you know, the great fortune that we've had of having uh, a game in June means that we can celebrate uh, Pride Month and, as you said, build on the seasonal continuity that we did in February 2020 and have our second Pride game. Well, let's talk about the fixture itself then mm -hmm. and what you're doing that's going to be a little bit different today. The, the guys watching this aren't mm -hmm. going to be here, unfortunately, but hopefully you're getting involved with all of the celebrations from wherever you're watching around the world. But for supporters in the ground today, what can they expect and how can they get involved? Yeah, so we have a selection of rainbow branded flags that our supporters can wave. We have these wonderful t-shirts that one of our designers put together. Uh, we have various things across the stadium which references the theme, the match day music, the walkout song, uh, but also the players. The players, both the men's team and the women's team, will be sporting these lovely t-shirts, which is just about visible inclusivity and just you know, demonstrating that commitment. I put a bit more meat on that bone then. Why is it important that we do things like this? We, not just being Harlequins, but, but rugby and the, the general sporting public. I think sport has a platform to uphold, and I think it's about championing inclusivity. And not just inclusivity, it's holistic inclusivity. It's about the players, it's about the back office, it's about our supporters. It's about championing diversity. And as a sport, we're known for a sport for everyone, and I, I think we have to visibly show that. But lastly, it's about emphasizing that our venue here at the Stoop is a safe place for everyone, regardless of your identity. Uh, well, that leads us on quite nicely to the supporters group that yes. was announced a little while ago, but you've made some progress with that. So um, just tell everybody sort of where we are with the supporters group. Yeah, no, it was a great opportunity in February of this year, um, one year anniversary since our first Pride game, to launch Rugby's first LGBTQ plus supporters association. Uh, we've established four founding members um, who are members known to the club who are within the LGBTQ plus community. And we've actually just established a name. Go on then. Fantastic. Quinn's Pride will be the name of our new supporters association, which is fantastic. And we will work with that group over the summer as a club. Um, it's important that it's supporter led, but also we need to support them as a club and make sure that they are working with us to ensure that the inclusivity is woven into the fabric of the Harlequin's identity. Well, it is supporters led. So how do supporters get involved? Yeah, well at the moment, um, any supporter that wants to get involved or find out more information, we're going to be building and forming this group over the summer to formally launch next season. Uh, but to email customer service at quinzacoda.uk, I will register your email and we'll be in contact over the summer. This is just another thing that Harlequins really seem to be leading on and we see this throughout rugby, whether it's these supporter-led initiatives or, or things that happen on the pitch as well. Is this something that you'd like 
other clubs in rugby, in football, in cricket, in any other sport to sort of really pick up on? Of course, I think the ultimate aim is that all clubs find their way to demonstrate what inclusivity looks like to them. You know, we've had a great opportunity to use our platform to signal real visible support for the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and yeah, ultimately, while we've been the first, the hope will be that all other clubs across all sports look to do a very similar thing to speak to their supporters because, you know, the LGBTQ plus community do enjoy sport and they want to be, they want to be recognised, they want that representation. Um, and I think it's just a great opportunity, really. It certainly is. Um, you've got a few other things going on as well, sort of various yes. panels, things that people can get involved with. Um, tell us about those and how people can get involved. Yeah, again, in February, um, the Harlequins Foundation launched uh, our Equality, Diversity, Inclusion Education Series. So across uh, February through to June, we ran an academic webinar, but also a panel discussion series, which is really sh um, showing the stories of various trailblazers within the sports space. Uh, we launched it in LGBT History Month, and we've tackled LGBTQ+, race and ethnicity, mental health, disability and sport. And later this month, we're going to look at trans inclusion within the rugby space. And that's something that people watching can get stuck into? They can indeed, yeah, it is a free event for people to sign up to. Um, so again, if you're interested, email customer service at Quins at Ucode at UK and we'll get you registered. But it's a free event because it's about dialogue and it's about driving that conversation forwards. Well, hopefully you've got enough information <laughs> to get involved there and the PA system didn't completely ruin that message, but give us the email address one more time. The email address is customer service at Quinzacoda UK. And as I said, the events are free. We want you there. It's about driving that conversation, stimulating discussion. Finally, prediction for today? Oh, um, uh, Harlequins win all the way. 100%. The sun is out. We after the 29th, last, our last game. I'm sure we can build on that. And we finish the season strong. Good luck today. And thank you so much for your great work. Thank you. <laughs> A few minutes until kickoff. Mike Bovill's revving it up, so hopefully you can hear us after him. And you might see we have a debut song. Brett, welcome. Finally, we get you on the show. How are you, mate? Really good, thank you. And yourself? Ah, oh, so good. So good. It doesn't get much better than this. I mean, I'm going to have to fiddle with the settings here because the crowd is so loud, even though we've only got a couple of thousand in. I'm struggling to hear you over the, the raucous noise. You guys watching at home, you couldn't be here, but we're very much looking forward to welcoming you back to the Stoop next season. Um, how's, how's the week been? We've already talked to this man and he's just been exuding positivity. How's your week been? Yeah, really good, thanks. Other than the golf, obviously. <laughs> yeah, the golf. Uh, Got a big cricket win as well oh. on Wednesday, up the sharpest, so uh, <laughs> that's our team. Uh, but yeah, no, in training's been really good, both, both sides pushing each other. Um, been a, a lovely week, had a nice barbecue as a team, so... Right, seriously, how do I get an invite to these barbecues? Because I look on the Insta and you boys are just eating some of the finest meat that money can buy. What a great way to spend your time with each other. Yeah, it could be worse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably just have to speak to, to the legends at oh, that's Andy Sammy. They are sorting you right out. Uh, so you won't be able to see this. Uh, hopefully you are watching us alongside the coverage, but the away team Falcons are out. Looks a lot like a Northampton Saints kit, that doesn't it? Here we go, let's go. Come on, boys. Queen's coming out. This is a quarter-final. A lot, quarter a lot final, of noise. Semi -final. Yeah. Quarter-final, semi-final. This is like a quarter-final. You know it's it's sounding quarter like a final. That's a massive yeah. shout, actually. Um, remember, we've got some competitions on the go today. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, we need you to guess the first try scorer, and we'll award that at the end of the first half. The last try scorer, you've got till 75 minutes to do that and get in your Mike Brown memories as well because we'll be picking two lucky people to get jerseys uh, in the home colours with 15 brown on the back. Uh, who did you say the first try scorer? Can you remember? Ben Tapawa. You said Taps. Who are you Ooh, going for? First try last, scorer. Last game for Taps. You know, he's coming in hot. I'm, I'm going to go for a Louis Liner. Ooh! <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually mentioned Louis Liner when I you was... You did mention yeah. Louis, yeah. Hey, good to see him back. Tell you what, he's in shape, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go for... Uh, Interception try oh. from him. Oh, and the tap back. We'll have that ball. Oh, Ooh. no. That's a good pickup from uh, Sean Robinson. 
So they've got a couple of players. Is he in England? Is he in the England squad? Yeah, he's in the England squad. England really sort of teased me. Oh, great save. Hey, wow. Hey. Hey. England really roll, teased man. me this week. Obviously not announcing anybody in the top four when we were perhaps expecting to have a couple involved. I was like, come on, lads. Oh, lost a scrum cap. Oh, but ball in hand. Good start required. Good to see Lord A. He suits the sunshine, you know. Yes. A couple of glorious tans kicking about. Morris on the chase. Oh, he eased off on that. It's Simo next to him. Here we go. Oh, you fancy this, do you? Marcus has got a really good turn, you know? Really Ooh. good turn. Yeah. Mm. Golden. Golden ball. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Oy, oh that's a good tackle. Yeah. Showing his experience there. Yeah. He's a good, good player. Yeah. It's, so, when he plays Rugby Union, he's Burrell. When he plays Rugby League, he's Burrell. <laughs> like, they literally, literally change his name. <laughs> Remember, get your questions in as well, asking the experts yes! in association yeah, with Charles Stanley. Lovely lens, Jekyll. Kenneth hits the line. Yeah, great option. Oh, here we go. Great option. Aaron wants. Has he overcooked that? Oh, no! Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's Here go. We go. Let's go. Oh, they've come, come to razzle. Oh. 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 oh! Here's That's your man. Here's your man. Come on, boys. How has Aaron got that ball completely uncontested over there, by the way? He's, he's great on the high ball, yeah. Aaron. Yeah. Great on the high ball. Here we go. Oh, listen Bang. to this crowd. This is a joy. Go on, big come one, on, go. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Puts his hands in. Oh, let's connect. Connect. Yeah, we got the advantage. Go on, get a bounce. Post or corner? Corner. Corner. Always good to get a goal kicker's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is this is the one that you want first first couple of minutes of the game. Yeah. Hey, especially Marcus after yeah. uh, it's a, a nice settler. Oh, yeah, I like it. I have asked you this before, but I always like hearing it. Do you enjoy scrummaging? Yes, I do. I absolutely love scrummaging. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think for big men, you like push against each other. Yeah. If you're like stronger than someone else, you feel a like, uh, sub there, you know, I'm very strong. Like, you're quite dominant over there, yeah. so it's quite good, yeah. Well, the scrum has been pretty tasty. This we need year. a good scrum here. Yeah? Great scrum. Big man, big scrum. Right then, bang in front of the sticks, 15 metres out, options both ways. What's that, 9 there? Oh, 9 wow. in the boot. Oh, good work, Donners. Yeah. Good work, Donners! Yeah. Go on, Kenners! Yeah! yeah. Thomas is world class. Hey. Hell of a boy, world Jack Kelly. Hey. Oh, he is, yeah. Quite the, uh, the TikTok star now as well. Oh, no, really? Yeah, it is a TikTok star. Uh, you guys are really, you, really, you researching for It was that. absolutely terrible, but yeah, it is. <laughs> what a start. So, anyway, we were pumping someone's tyres up there. Who were you saying was world class? Dominic. Oh. Eddie Jones, please. Hey, you need to pick him, man. You've been on a campaign now for, for two years. <laughs> yeah. Social media to... Uh, <laughs> Marcus, yeah. uh, Don Brand, uh, who, who else did I say? Uh, DC. DC, uh, DC. Uh, coming back, you know. Mr. Wavy Wavy. Mr. Mr. Wavy Wavy. Make sure that's nice and close in there. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Wavy Wavy. <laughs> I think I, I need to try and catch up with Bev today because I think I completely dissed him in the train station earlier. Oh, I was, really? I was running a bit late and there was a guy on crutches and I just sort of sidestepped and ran <laughs> just in. And I turned around and I'm pretty sure it was Bev, <laughs> but he had a fake mask on. Yeah, I saw him on uh, social media. He was doing the full fan. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, he's up, um, he's up there today, I think. Yeah. I think he had a great view of that <clears throat> Kenner's try. So, if you did pick Jack Henningham as the uh, first try scorer, then you are now entered 
into the competition and we'll be announcing the winner. He just loves scoring at the stoop, doesn't he? Also, so you know he scored in the opposite corner last time. His family were literally in that <laughs> corner there, so oh, hopefully really? they're back hopefully at there again. Today. And they've got a good view of that. That's the stuff. How, how proud would be his dad? Is that? Sorry? How proud would it be oh. his dad? Yeah. Unreal. He's, he's really stepped in stepped in when yeah. Webb went down and just it's been seamless hasn't it you know he came like I knew he was like hard working but he just came yeah. and just took the opportunity I was just like so surprised how he grew so fast into like, the game free kick on the scrum so they're they're targeting the scrum then they want to go they went early the first time and Dom has had some work to do and we're going to reset it here I think this uh might be on depending on what nine does there's a conversation going on isn't there marcus and march having a little chit chat this is also while we're talking about really important things in the game today this is the best haircut that tyrone green's had all season <laughs> looking very sharp <laughs> to be fair he has had some stinkers though hasn't he he's finally found a good barber <clears throat> yeah he does look it's quite mean from here doesn't it line on his haircut oh no penalty now Oh. It's annoying when you. Because they won the free kick, didn't they? And went for the reset. Yeah. And they give away the penalty. That's. Uh, yeah. It's a good kick. Yeah. Oh well, bit of defending to do. Yeah. Oh, I think the rest being a bit harsh. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It got a bit of applause from the supporters yeah. over there as well. Oh, welcome to all of you who are watching. Also, welcome to some of you who are listening. I know at the last home game there were a few of you that had your headphones in listening to us, and we appreciate that. So wherever you're joining oh, us from take. around the okay. world, Here we go. great to have you on, on board. Boys. Last Harlequins Live of the season <clears throat> here at the Stoop. Although hopefully two more matches to come after today. Definitely one, hopefully two. Come on, boys. Oh, no. Advantage coming. <sighs> Boring. <laughs> oh, there's bodies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why, why does this always happen? We get in such a good mood. Score yeah. the early try. The boys are just having a chat. <laughs> It's going to be a repeat of Bath oh, mate. Um, Wasps. <laughs> Wasps. Mate, we were just up and down. <laughs> At one point, man, I was, I was just going to, I was like, mate, we're going to lose. Oh. And when, then we just... They, yeah, it's when they dropped over the line, the basket, oh, and then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe we're in this. The and Tyrone Green saved the day. <laughs> we lost our heads big time yeah. watching Wasps <laughs> as well. Yeah, well I, was, I remember. I was, <laughs> Me, I was this not, guy, and Aaron, Aaron. Yeah. Uh, although I can't imagine we were the only ones either. Charge my boy again. Oh, right. 7 5. Never boring. I can't, we can't do it again, mate. We can't have another one. Yeah. No, what, I mean, what, what would be nice is uh, we keep their scoring yeah. down this game and going into the, into the semi final. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're. Yeah. We're 99% sure now, but we're still waiting on confirmation after the, the London Irish and Bristol situation. Right, I know this is a Harlequins show and we are Harlequins as a club, but you have to feel for London Irish. Essentially, no, I'm not. it's a weird strike. Yeah, you got under that one a bit, yeah. but uh... um, Yeah, essentially, Marcus has ruined London Irish season. <laughs> because they were in contention for top four before that game, and since then, They've fallen off a cliff. It was, yeah. was it? No. Who did they play last week? Wasps. And Wasps, wasps did to them what we did to Wasps. And then it was a slim chance against Bristol Bears, but they still had something to play for. And now, now they're out of the top eight altogether. Brutal wow. for those guys. Brutal, but it's, it's great to see them rebuilding the way they yeah. have. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've, yeah. Really well, yeah. They've not been an easy afternoon for many teams no, this year. No, no. Some exciting young, young players, especially in their back line. Yeah, Ollie Hassel Collins yeah. has got the nod as well. Tom Parton. Yeah, yeah. Great player. No, good for them. Tasty new ground as well. Yeah. 
Well, there's not a lot on that. <clears throat> this is Aaron's all day. Come on. Ooh. Right, boys, settle. Settle, settle, settle. Bad kick. <laughs> oh, bad pass. Find it, yeah. Oh, oh boys. Okay, set this up in, in box. Set, set oh, it up is he in high box, on him there? Taps has got that lovely little step into contact, isn't he? I don't it, know. It's the little two step. It, it, it's got such a low centre of gravity. He yeah, really he does. does. He, goes, he goes really low, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, if it's effective or not, but it looks great. Hey, good match on that. So I think we need to we need to target Hodgson uh, yeah, it is with the high balls. Ten playing at fifteen. Hmm. Get, get the likes of Aaron and Liner getting getting straight at him. Luscious locks on him. It reminds me of uh, early Andy Goode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not sure how he'd take that. But <laughs> no, no, just just from the neck. The up. resume he'd <laughs> yeah. take, but yeah, some player really. Get over it. Get over it. Connect. Marcus leading the chase off the kick as well. Oh, if he goes quickly here, yeah. the, the forwards are not going to be thanking him for that. Oh, he's high on him. That's off his feet. Yeah. Two, two seatbelt tappers, I think, have gone, have gone unpunished there. Christoph Kristoff in charge today, isn't it? Some shape on him, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I think he exclusively does chest and arms. Come on, boys. Here we go, then. Do you know who's not scored for a while? And obviously, this is not the ideal position for him to do it from. But Scott Baldwin yeah. hasn't had a meat pie for a bit. Mm. His, um, his new house that he's building looks nice, doesn't it's it? It's gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. Taps once. Oh, oh yes, DC. Ooh, what a show and go, eh? <laughs> Maybe offside yeah, in the middle. Yeah, we've got an advantage. Just keep it in hand. Let's not just kick it away here. That is twice in a row, Boulder's in at nine there, <laughs> and I'm here for it. <laughs> he's always out before the game practicing box kicks as well, isn't oh, he? Go, 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 him go, go, and Marla. Lovely. Lovely. Come on, then. Here we go. Oh, oh, yes! oh, 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 sorry, we should have had it. Yeah, yeah. Who was that? No, no, no one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Touch on. Razzle dazzle, though, yeah. mate. Oh. Razzle dazzle, was, rugby. Was Aaron Morris meant to be there? What about that step from Taps there? Right then. Charles Stanley, ask the experts. We've got some questions for you, lads. Oof! Tell you what, Bushy, you can't you can't just throw in <laughs> where are you lads playing next year? <laughs> oh my god! That is brutal. You can choose to I tell you what, he's put that one in just short of a length and you can it's choose to length. leave that on a uh, online grounds if you like. Can we just say Exciting news inbound when the time is right. Is that the yeah, yes? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll leave it, leave it with that. Yeah. Watch this space, Bushy Ed, because yeah, two two proper quins here who aren't going to be here next year, but will be continuing their journey in a very exciting way. So watch this space. Oh, Thomas once again. Oh yes, yes, oh, yes. DC. Oh, DC. Oh, it's a little good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it the sun? He's got to milk it. Straight to his son. Lovely. <laughs> 11 premiership tries for Danny Pear this year. <laughs> Being on fire. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what to say about that. He made that look so easy. <laughs> this replay. Oh, and a little shoulder from yeah. March on the way. Yes. You're Just a good March here. Once he stepped in, oh, you can't yeah. see it there. Yeah. Lovely thing. Oh, look at this. What a boy. 
him and Brownie just been rolling back the years this year. Yeah. Oh, Unbelievable, man. both of them. Well, great response, 12 7. Yeah, I think we just need a clean exit now. Get, get back in their territory, don't let them let them sort of get back into our third. Uh, well, I don't know if you can hear the applause <laughs> that was going throughout the kick. And that is the uh, mic round 3.15, so 15 minutes into the match. Just an applause in, in appreciation for the guy, really. There's going to be a presentation at the end as well. Stick with us on the show. It's going to be a really nice moment. I'm not going to give away too much, but we are giving away not one, but two of these Mike Brown jerseys in home colours. So what we want you to do is when you're watching on Facebook, on YouTube, just give us your Mike Brown memories or give us a message that you'd like to give to oh, the man. Here That's we nice. go. Oh, and we'll be picking man, two of the best him. and those home jerseys could be winging their way to you. We've already got the first try scorer done, Jack Kenningham. Now we need you to pick the last try scorer and we'll be giving away the third jersey for that one. So many jerseys. Everyone gets a jersey. You need a wardrobe if you win them all. Aaron on the chase. Oh, good take. Oh, please don't let this be a new score. He's got a good shot. Okay. Another one. Like, how, how deep <clears throat> must South Africa go for Wilco not to get the yeah. nod? Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's sharp. Got the skills of that one. Nice, oh, Danny. Oh, nice, Danny. Nice, Danny. Yeah, lovely <laughs> cover. He, he is on it today, isn't he? <laughs> 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 he's he's having some spice so with a lot, I know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's done very well there because Tyrone is losing that foot race, which isn't something you uh, hear very often. Tough having to stop, turn, and, and go again. McGuigan. Yeah. Oh, shh. Oh, oh. Boys. Scotty, stay down Scott here. Down. He's okay. Oh no, not today, Scott. Oh no. Oh oh. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Take his own turn. Stop swearing, oh, sorry. you. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to do a supercut at the end of the season. <laughs> just all the times that exact thing has happened. Come on, boys. Come on, boys, get up, get up. Seems to get set, come on, let's go. They like that little switch of direction, yeah. don't they? Oh. Oh, yeah. shit! Yes! Is that big Dino? He is a big lump as well. Yes! yes. yes. This is... Hands on that, yep. hands on that. Marla wants that. Ooh. Oh, look at Thomas. That's great line speed here. Mm. Yes. They're getting, still getting quick ball, though, aren't they? Get, get under him, him get under him, him, under him, under him. Come on, boys. Yes. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Boys, man. Oh, That's he a dropped it. One. That's he a dropped one. one. That's a knock-on. We're going to have a look at it, and we don't get the benefit of the refs, Mike, so everyone at home is going to hear exactly what they're saying. AR has gone. <laughs> AR has literally shrugged his shoulders then. <laughs> We haven't got refs like this one, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Oh well. Let's have a look at... Who's that? Oh, Caden's going to get warm. Who's that for? Fuck, hopefully Baldwin is not a... <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be for Baldwin. <laughs> Although... He's big enough. <laughs> I was going to say, you could certainly... Uh, he wouldn't need to put on many kilos to make an impact, would he? <laughs> He is a big old piece of meat. That sounds like I'm objectifying him, and I'm not, on today of all days. Good to see Kaden is back. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah. He's recovered really well. He's looking sharp in the week as well. Is he? Yeah, yeah. man. He was outstanding in the week. Jerry Gray. He needs to get in there quick. Mr. Mayo Masters heading down. The CEO of Mayo Master. <laughs> if anyone's struggling with uh, sore muscles, please. You know where to find my master. So, the, hang on, we, I'm missing the replays here. 
I think they might give this, you know. Do we punch it backwards off, off the tackle? Let's have a look at it. So they don't look particularly confident there, do they? So here's the okay. tackle. Yeah, he's lost it in contact and it's gone forward. It just, yeah. I think it just depends if they say they've ripped, if we've ripped that. If Tyrone's ripped it, I don't. So he's going to give it, and Dom is yeah, fuming. He said exactly that, I think. He's ripped it. He's not. Yeah. He's uh, not what you want. It's oh, be a good bit of booing as well. It's going to be a tough yeah. fest, I think. Hey? It's going to be a try fest today. It's just yeah. every 10 minutes we're going to try. So um, hopefully we score more tries than them. It's the fundamentals to yeah, the game, really. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> really is. God, great feet on this particular bit here. I still I don't see where the rip happened. But yeah, this would be a good angle. Where is the rip? So as, as T comes in now, here. That right arm. Oh, so they ripped it and knocked back. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that's a lead. I don't know. I, oh God, this this has an unbelievably end of season feel to it, doesn't it? This yeah. <laughs> Start that one better. Yeah. Congratulations! That is your first curse of the commentator. <laughs> <sighs> So oh, welcome to the game. 14, oh, nice. 14-12. Still in the lead. Let's have a good chase on this. Watch Morris again. He gets after it, doesn't he? Oh, watch him. Marsh great with that. He, he practices it in the week. Just yeah. sprinting after sprinting after our kicks, trying to, trying to catch him on the ball. Don't know where he gets the energy. Right. Is this our, our ball? Yeah, this is ours. Oh, lovely. So, first try, Jack Kenningham. Who's going to get the last try for us? Let's hope it's not Danny Kay. Well, unless it's like a hat trick try. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Great. come on. Yes. Well done. Well done, nice. Jack. Into the 22. Here we go. Tenacious. Oh, Ooh. Is that his first oh, try? I think Wait, so. I'm not sure. What a line! <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The man possessed that. I... <laughs> what are they looking at now? Are they looking at the clear out? Oh, don't spoil our fun, please. So what, what? I don't this, know why they look at everything. So is it the shoulder? So look at the clear out here from. Oh, from Lorde. From Lorde. Oh, so this is going to be try, try overturned and a red card then. Great. What? You can't see it from that angle. No. Allow the try. Look, look at this line from the big man. No, he's in. No, oh, he's, not even. he's hitting in the side. Get on with it, Ridley. Sorry. <laughs> Why are we still looking at this? Well, and he's not even released the tackler. So, sorry, the the, the ball carrier. What are we looking at here? Ceiling off. Huh? Well. It's very clear that his arm has hit him in the ribs there. What's he doing here? Yeah. Good. Leading with his shot. He's going to overturn it. Oh, what? Oh, my Jesus. Oh, Simo strike. Good. Man. 
not sure on that. Oh one. man, that's just so bad. What they have done there is ruined was... the best social media clip. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's just got my mood now. That was. <clears throat> oh. What else? What else is Tom Lorde supposed to do there? Yeah, I, I, how's, how's he meant to clear someone that's lying on pretty much on the ground on top of our ball player not releasing? Unbelievable. Oh, well, still 14-12. And good news, lads. We've got another question for you. Ask the experts <laughs> who are you supporting, Brett, Lions or Fox? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that is a very t very tough one. Oh yeah. Um, I know my most well, Marcus. my 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 family were my parents were meant to be going out for for the whole summer. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's called that. Oh yeah. Um, my my mum's very very proud South African, so um, yeah, it'll be pretty impartial uh, I just, just want to see good rugby from, from both sides oh my goodness me two questions no answers <laughs> <laughs> what about you Tex are you going Lions or Box I'm going Lions oh super oh so they've knocked that on but they've got a penalty <sighs> right cool head Dave it was a great day last time one of the season so our ambition viewers you guys watching at home is to ask a question <laughs> that Brett can actually answer by the end, <laughs> by the end of the show today. A bit like a referee today, <laughs> yeah. mm. not giving us any... Do you know, this has happened a, a few times, not just in the last few weeks, but it's happened a few times this season as well, where we've sort of been in the arm wrestle and a moment's happened where it's looked like we're just starting to get the edge and then a decision. Ooh! There we go. Come on, here and we then, go. See, left corner. Another high tackle. They're all offside. Three, three lads offside there. All the fat lads offside in the middle. He's around his head. Oh, speaking of heads, mine's going to go today, lads. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great match. Go, on, Lewis. go on, Lana. Oh! That's enough on. Jesus. Get him up, get him up. So it's either a penalty or, honestly, He knocked, he knocked that on, right? I saw that, yeah. Oh, wow. That's straight out. No, it's not. Oh, good oh, save. Lina, what a take. Lewis Lina is just... They are... So good. Credit Amazing. to Falcons, because they are playing on the edge at the moment. Yeah. And they're getting away with a lot. They're, they're big lads are all literally parked offside in the field. Go again here, Lionel. Come on, Lionel. <laughs> Lovely. Lionel, look, look at Lionel. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah. Yes. Go on, yes. Tino. Oh. 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 <sighs> quick ball again. Really quick. Yeah, nice, Smitty. Run. Yeah. Yes. Look at the spiral. <laughs> Get that's, back. that's beautiful. <laughs> Lost out. So pure. Oh, Lost out. So pure. <laughs> so pure. That's 22 to 22. That's beautiful. Good to meet. Nice. <laughs> Get in there, Dino. Get in there. Get in there, Dino. Nice. Oh, Ooh, good nudge. Oh, wow. Really good nudge. It wasn't pretty, but yeah, good. I tell you, must be at the front of the barbecue queue is Dino Lamb. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Right, let's have another question then. Asking the experts in association with Charles Stanley. Brett, why haven't I had an invite to meet Ozzy? Oh, I'm, Lennox is that. I'm guessing that. this is from Lennox, yeah. Who's Ozzy? Uh, he's my little dog. Oh. My dog. So, as I've said to, to Lennox multiple times, it's an open invite. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he wants to come. Get into it. What breed? He's a fox red Labrador. Oh, very nice. Very nice. A lot of walking, though. For a lot of walking, yeah. Come on, Lewis. Come on, Lewis. Oh, Lewis, hit him. Yes! yes! Oh, oh, yes! Good tackle, Marcus. Yes! So, again, no, no knock on or anything. No. They just... Isn't it amazing? When there's a half a decision to be made, he's not made it. But when there's a decision with regards to... Uh, Running on momentum. I'm just, uh, I'm just upset that Simo didn't get his moment because that was such a good finish. Oh, oh wow! It's a shot. Who is this number eleven for? Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, nice. They turn that over as well. We're in a spot of bother here, boys. Yeah. We need to. We need to slow the. Oh. That's with Thoki. Thoki, oh, mate. Well, that, that is the. Oh, that is Jesus. That is Super Baby yeah, Junior. Super. So he he used to be my housemate in oh, okay. uh, in, in, in Bath. Bath. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Funny guy. Yeah, yeah, good player as well. Great player, great feet. Oh, Did oh, a few. oh my god! So I, again, regular, regular watchers of the show will know how much of an affinity I have for Buck Super Rugby. But I got to know him when he was at Northumbria. Yeah, we've been playing alongside a couple of lads in this side today. I think it was a Callum Chick. I think was Northumbria as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good player. Yeah. Him, him and Northmore have done battle a few times. Yeah, thirteen yeah. on thirteen. Up the arches. <laughs> yeah, that little um, almost going backwards to go forwards there was very effective. And then the offload to follow. <sighs> oh, man. The jeans going to calm down then. Yeah. <laughs> he's got some razzle in him. Yeah, he's got some razzle. He's going to keep coming. Once he done one, he's going to keep coming. Right, so another scrum. There haven't been a lot of scrums, have there? And they won a penalty at the last one. So we've got, what, just over 10 minutes until half time. Lots to look forward to at half time as well. The uh, women's team are going to be parading the trophy and they're going to be doing uh, a bit with Nick Heath as well. So stick around to watch that. Of course, we are still looking for entrance to the competition. If you want to win a Mike Brown jersey, get your Brownie memories, your messages to Brownie in, and we'll select two of them and we'll be uh, sending you one of the jerseys and get the last try scorer in two. Also, what do you think is going to happen in the playoffs? Uh, oh, put it. Oh, the, way, the way they were lining up there with the winger deep, I was like, have they got the putty? Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. <laughs> hmm. Tell you what, they're putting on early pressure, aren't they? Early, early pressure. Come on, boys. Good exit. I'd really... Hopefully at half-time, I'd really like to grab hold of someone and, and hear what the referee said about all the days clear-out. Because when they pick them up for the head and neck collisions, fair enough, I get it, but... Ribs... Go on, Domers. Well done, Domers. Oh, oh, well, there's no arms in that, no. Christoph. Yes, Glody. Not, not even, is, not even a suggestion of an league, arm. Though. Not even the suggestion of an arm. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Marcus. Not, not even nearly an arm. No. Just throwing a shoulder. You can see the boys are not used to the yeah, really hot weather. Eh? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Hands and knees. They're not used to the hot weather. It's just like it's blowing out there. Ball's been in play a lot as <laughs> yeah. well, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Not even. Not even nearly enough. Christoph Ridley, actually. Oh, what was the game? 
Was it Saracens or Chiefs where he was involved in a bit of controversy here before? Oh, yeah. Go on, Marla. Yes, oh. Marla. <laughs> Marla was like a cat trying to grab a mouse, though, <laughs> wasn't it? It was like in slow motion, and all of a sudden he was like, oh, here we are. Oh, Borders doesn't keep the headband on for long, does he? No. He's worried about that valley's tan. <laughs> oh, here ball. we go. Yeah. Here yes. we go. Razzle, razzle. Oh! Go on, see it in. No. Danny Kerr. Danny Kerr. Did, did Smitty touch that or was it their player? It was their player. They might have put a forward pass before that when Aaron was involved. That's, that's, that's great if that's. Oh. Two for DC. So good. So good. Watch, watch Marla here. <laughs> He's just got so much power. Yeah. Right, then. Watch this the full width. And just when Aaron comes Is through. it the last pass from Aaron? Yeah. So this that's is the... So that's fine. Yeah. This one here. Because Marcus is just... Oh, no, because no, it's come he's, off he's, he's hit that straight off. Yeah. It's yeah. lovely oh. from March. Live, I thought we'd knock that on. Yeah. <laughs> he's... Yeah. Sorry, just checking that. Yeah, 21. The thing with a notice of March is, like... He probably doesn't score as many tries as he like, but he's very often either the last pair of hands it goes through or would be the next pair of hands that it goes into. Like his, his involvement is massive. He's a very unselfish guy. Oh, 21 12. Cool. Feel a bit better now. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah we weathered that storm a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Adrian Brown. Brown is an absolute legend. So many great moments. Difficult to think of one that stands out. He'll be missed but forever loved as a Harlequin. That is spot on, Adrian. And keep those messages coming in as well. Not just to, to win the jersey, but obviously it's a, it's a special day for the club and sort of like to keep a memento of them. And it's been great to hear from the supporters when it's been good and when it's been not so good this season. Oh, we appreciate yeah. your... Oh yes! Oh, oh Lewis! Lewis! Oh, he loves an intercept. He loves it. Eh? That's good He's hands. Doing it all well. week. <laughs> Jacob Omaga still dreams of it. <laughs> Go on, Smithy. Go on, Go on Smithy. Go on. Go on, Smithy. Oh, well played. Yeah. Oh! Oof. Marcus Smith leading the chase. Is that more than once today? <laughs> Lungs on the ball. We turn that over as well. They've come to razzle. Yeah. Right, Tyrone needs to drop. <laughs> Tyrone needs to drop. Tyrone can do what he wants. All right. <laughs> oh, this sounds so good. Yeah, I'll take that. Can you imagine what a full ground is no. going to sound like? <laughs> what a dream. I think Marla hit the nail on the head the other week, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, he did. And he's, he's the kind of guy that, when, even though sometimes what he says is a bit off the wall, remember that horse thing? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but when he speaks, when he speaks, you listen, yeah. you know, particularly yeah. with a message like that. Something about the front rowers, because between him and Sean O'Brien, they're like speaking for a nation at the moment. Oh, oh I love listening. Yes, man. very nice. Taps once. Yeah. Ooh! Oh. It's a rough game, boy. What a ball. Yes. Oh! What a ball. Aaron Morris. Oh, it's a great cover and tackle from them. Oh, it is. Right then. Let's have a tip. Fair dues to Falcons. Their line speed has been yeah. unreal. Come on, boys. Bonus point before half time. Let's go. Nice Wilco. Oh, turnover. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. That Wilson was just straight over that. He is not made out of the same flesh and bone as me. <laughs> Look at the shape on him. Yeah. I think that applies to most. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, big old, uh, big old boy. Who? Oh, it's like Aaron Down. Come on, mate. Come on. The problem with these, particularly these back three lads, they're so fast twitch. They're too powerful for their own good a lot of the time, yeah. aren't they? Especially in this yeah. weather. Look at this yeah. turn over here. Just these sevens, they just lick their lips when they see that, don't they? There's just no way of getting them off. Yeah, all right. <sighs> what have we got? Three and a bit <laughs> to half time. It's my fault, that is, for talking about bonus points. <laughs> Serves me right. Good news for you, lads. There will be no more questions until at least after half time. Perfect. However, that doesn't stop you from asking them. We love you to ask the experts in association with Charles Stanley here on Harlequins Live, brought to you by Silverbug. It's our last one of the season, so if you've got a question for either of these two, what is it? get them in. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, oh, I thought we pinched that in. Right then, boys. Let's get a big cradle. Yeah. So when you say big cradle, what does that mean in English? Just trying to stop, stop their. Um, oh well done. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Trying to stop their chases getting through. Um, oh, I've pinched that. Yeah, like that. Okay. Just, just trying so, to give a, a bit more support, a bit more blocking for for our catches coming forward. Well done, tight. Yeah, well, let's done, go, tight. Let's go. well done, tight. Well done, tight. Get him off. Nice, Dees. Yeah, really good. Oh, Simo at scrum half. Marler at first receiver, and, and then Baldy. That's another oh, high. They're gonna get out, get out. Oh my God, they're just so low. Loose head props, just literally off. He's literally offside. He couldn't be more offside. Yeah. Oh, get here we go. Get Good tops. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I can't. I can't believe. I can't believe how many high tackles they've got away with. They're yellow cards no, no, in other games. That one on Baldwin, for sure for me, that, that's, that's high. Yeah. There were a couple of couple in the first few <laughs> minutes that I thought, oh, you know, they're... Yeah. And again, not, not like vicious, knock your head off high tackles, but the rules are the rules these days. <laughs> these days, God, I sound old. I'm not, well, I am, but I think, whatever. Either way, I think uh, Scott Baldwin... <laughs> can feel a little bit hard done by there. Mm. Great identification of space there from Smithy. Yeah. Lovely little kit. Yes. We are where we are. Oh, we've got 90 seconds and a scrum to defend. Christoph Ridley in there. Look at him smirking at the Falcons players. You're not there to make friends, Christoph. <laughs> To be fair, I'm climbing into him, he is a very good referee. And he's a good bloke as well. So when um, the lockdown was announced and rugby was abandoned, he just sort of went out of his way to do loads of stuff, um, talks to schools and, and all of that kind of thing. So even though I'm giving him a hard time, good referee, good bloke. Um, yeah. Right. Oh. Quinn's penalty. Yep. Yes. Lovely. Here we go. He took about four minutes to give that then. Uh. Postal corner. Corner. That's the stock answer these days, isn't it? 
Here we go. Right there. Great kick. So, I mean, I don't think it'll ever happen. But I'd love to see the spiral to the corner make a comeback as well. Yeah, running the bar. One of those ones that if you're close enough you can hear it. <laughs> Dean Richards up on the big screen, getting it. Warm welcome back to the stoop. Right then, last chance, come on boys. Offside. No, we're not playing offside or high tackles today. I don't know if you've got the memo or not. Gone. High again. Good quick ball though. Oh, there go. Big slab of beef. Yes, ballroom. All right, come on, boys. Yes. Penalty. Yes. Here we go. Gone. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, good. Oh, go, Jackie. Have gone? Yes. They have gone. Oh. Yes. Oh. Come on, lads. Let's have a bonus point. Oh! Yes. Oh, Tyrone loves scoring against Falcons. And I love watching it. That's great. That is well. Here's your bonus point, lads. What are you worried about? He properly announced himself against Falcons away, didn't he? That was his entry into Quinn's boat form. Oh, let's have another look at this then, shall we? What was the last pair of hands that got it to tie here? I'm saying Mark. Yeah, there was, again. What did we say? Again. His involvement. Twenty six twelve with the conversion to Cam. And good news, lads, we've got our first shirt winner as well. Nobody Oh, yeah, very good. Oh wow. So half time, Harlequins 28, Newcastle Falcons 12. Nobody guessed Jack Henningham for the first run scorer. So, Heston Gardner, congratulations. You guessed Danny Kerr and he got the second try. So, this jersey will be winging its way to you. We'll be in touch to get your address and whatnot. Uh, but remember, we've still got jerseys to give away. Your Mike Brown memories for two Mike Brown jerseys and the last try scorer as well. But let's talk 40-odd minutes of rugby. Bonus point in the bag. Hopefully four more points to come with it. What have you thought of what we've seen? I think it's been good. Yeah, uh, A lot of really good stuff. Like we said earlier, though, we, just, we, we, we can't let them get into our third yeah. and stay there. Tex, um, sorry to, to interrupt you there, but I've just seen Luke Wallace uh, walking down yeah. in a Super Baby Bucket Super hat. Baby. Is That's there good. a man that was born to wear a Super <laughs> Baby Bucket hat more than Luke Wallace? He makes it look good. He loves it as well. So Even Bresman. Yeah, yeah, good, he's got... Man. I was going nice. to wear mine, but I hairsprayed yeah. instead. <laughs> <laughs> um, in all seriousness, though, good half of rugby. Newcastle Falcons playing on, Play, on the edge, yeah, on the edge, but they're and a physical bunch of boys, aren't yeah, they? They are very physical. Our, from our playing up there the last two years has been there. They're like physical. They're like coming off the line, nuggety, so scrums more. So that's what they're here for. So I could get in trouble for this, but moving from Newcastle Falcons up there, yeah. Kingston Park to to the, the Garden of Premiership oh, Rugby here beautiful. in Harlequins, mm. honestly, yeah. Just uh, different gear. Different right? gear, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just 
for another level. <laughs> we'll have more of a talk about that when the microphones are off. But now there is some uh, half-time entertainment for you to enjoy. Very shortly, we will be introducing the Harlequins women who will be doing a lap of honour to celebrate their fantastic success of winning the Allianz Premier 15s trophy. There'll be some uh, interviews with Nick Heath as well. So enjoy your half-time and we'll be back for the second half. Thank you. At the third time of asking, they were victorious in the Allianz Premier 15 season. We welcome to the pitch our champions, Harlequins Women! Come on, Abby, we want to see that trophy nice and high. One, two, three. Well, I am absolutely thrilled to be down here in the corner with two of the Harlequins women's stars who started that day in King's Home. Um, Emily Scott, Fee Fletcher, thanks so much for joining us. Um, first of all, how are you enjoying the second Harlequins Pride match? Oh, fantastic. Uh, it's just really good to be here today and uh, to see all the rainbow flags as well is amazing. And, you know, rugby's a sport for all and it's great. Uh, Harlequins, we're celebrating that. Yeah, it certainly is, isn't it? Now, uh, tell us about that final, Fee. Uh, it was nip and tuck the whole way. Harlequins getting themselves ahead, having to shrug off Saracens, knowing what Saracens can do. Yeah. How were the nerves? Um, pretty ropey when we went down to 13 players. Um, but, you know, we've worked hard all season to get that win. And I think that really showed we were there to play as a team. And, yeah, just really delighted we managed to get one over on them, finally. Yeah, and, and how much did hunger play a part in winning this season? Because we know what that other team in London can do. <laughs> and Harlequins have been there the whole time, have always been competing, getting to those finals, but always the bridesmaid. How much was hunger a real part of getting that win? And, and what will that do for the side going forward? Yeah, I mean, you know, to lose against Saracens last year in the final was really, really tough. So actually to come out this year and finally get over the line and, and get the win was amazing for us and such hard work behind the scenes to get us there. And yeah, we're really proud and we're just really excited. And, and it's amazing that we're able to take the trophy round today and show everyone. Yeah, and uh, you had a semi-final here. There were fans here for that one, were there? Yeah, yeah, so what was that experience like after a whole season of not being able to have the fans in and then competing for a place in the final, being backed by the stoop? Yeah, it was incredible. I think we, would obviously, like everyone, we've waited an awful long time to get crowds back. And it just met, gave us a massive lift. Like, even in the warm-up, you could feel them, like the noise. And whenever we're on top, you know, the roar behind you really, like, pushed us that, that extra edge over a tough wasp side, to be fair to them. Now tell us, what was the night out like? Were you allowed any celebrations? <laughs> it might have been a couple of beers. A couple of beers, a couple of beers? <laughs> Only a couple, of course. We're athletes. Yeah, now can you just uh, show your, uh, your medals here? Let's see if our camera... Let's see if John can get a nice little close-up of that. How good does that look? Absolutely brilliant. So uh, another season beckons next year and the Harlequins are going to be the team to beat. How are you going to enjoy being the champions and top of the pile? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we're always uh, kind of top of the league or thereabouts and, and we definitely want to keep that going, you know, and, and we're the title holders now, so we're definitely hoping to, to keep our trophy. Yeah, and hoping that the new normal is that fans will continue to keep returning to the stadium. How important fee is it 
that all of these people keep getting behind Harlequin's women. Yeah, it's massive, and it's massive for us, and it's massive for the club. Like the club really backed the women's side, so if the fans can get behind us in the same way as the club are, then we're going to be a force to be reckoned with for a long, long time. Yeah, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in thanking Emily Scott and Fee Fletcher, part of your champions, Harlequins Women! It is wonderful to have you back at the Twickenham Stoop and we do appreciate you bearing in mind all of the protocols that we need to observe in order to keep your safety during these challenging times. It is more important than ever to ensure we're staying safe in our return to rugby. And I think we would all agree that we don't want to see them lock those gates again. So do make sure that you're sitting in your allocated seats. Make sure you're wearing a mask at all times, unless eating or drinking. Make sure you adhere to social distancing. And of course, make sure you have a great afternoon. Sadly, due to both teams being in bubbles, there will be no meets and greets at the end. And a reminder to please stay in your seats at the final whistle. And we have an on-pitch presentation at full time that you will not want to miss. Thank you. Let's hear it again for your Allianz Premier 15s champions, Harlequins women!
I'm the interested in the opposition. I'm the interested in what we have, who they've got, blah, blah, blah. Because I'll tell you right now, I would not choose to have a better park. And that's about people as well as your playing ability, right? You are uber talented. You have like you have done phenomenally consistently well for the old season, and that was a pit in the pit my last last week in semi final. So today, you know, finals are just won or lost, aren't they? So it's you just got to be the best version of you that you can be for seven minutes. You look around, look to your left, to right, look across, across the group at people. Everybody here is willing to put their body on the line today. Amazing scenes, not just that video, but also the parades. They were so well received uh, by everybody here inside the stoop, and we hope that is the first of many trophies for Harlequins women. But now our concentration goes back to this pride fixture. Brett's back before Suva. I knew he would be. Hoping he might come back with some snacks, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, second half in the sunshine, away we go. March underneath it, safe hands. Do you think he might have a sniff of this Summer England tour? Yeah, I, I would hope so. I think he's, he's been playing well enough to. Yeah. And obviously he's been, been in and out for the last couple of years, so fingers crossed he is. I don't want to sound like I'm flogging a dead horse here, but the scrum half has just DDT'd <laughs> Joe Farber, which is another high tackle. Oh, stay in, straight stay, in. stay in, stay in. Oh, yeah. all right. Very good. Right, Simo at nine. That's what we like. Oh. Where is... Where's Tex gone? I'm not really sure. I mean, it's all right. We're on the ball. It's fine. Again, little... Oh, oh well, well I tell you what, he scooped that up well. After us... Uh, well, after you saying that he's somebody we should target, he's actually played really yeah, well, he has, hasn't he? he has. Oh, we come to Razzle now. Huh? Oh, I can't. I can't take forty minutes of this, Brett. I'll tell you that now. Oh, lovely ball! I love that flat ball. Yeah, we're turning. One more. In. One more. One more. Oh, well done, Thomas. You just know you want to flick that out the back as well. <laughs> it's a good start. Have you seen? Have you ever seen a clockwork orange? A clockwork orange. You weren't have done. Maybe you're no. quite young, aren't you? What are you? Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great film. Legendary film. Uh, it's a bit dark, but there's a bit where, um, as effect, effectively, the protagonist is forced to watch a film and they hold his eyes open. Oh, wow. And I want them to do that to Christoph Ridley in some <laughs> of the decisions that he's made in the 41 minutes of this game so far. Suppose Matt's sitting down oh, and they can watch every. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone to get chips, isn't he? Is he? Has it? I don't know. He said he was going to. 
he'll be back at some point. He's a law unto himself. He is. He's, this... on, he's on Fiji time. <laughs> Which is a real thing yeah. too, isn't it? There he is. Hey! <laughs> he's got himself a coffee. He's got himself a coffee. I mean, did... did I... I... Anyway. Keep sending your messages in about Brownie. William Humphreys has been in touch to Mike. Thank you for the good times, the not so good times, but most importantly, thank you for giving your all every second you wore our beloved quarters. To us, you'll always be one of the greatest. Yeah, lovely message. Keep them coming in. Again, we've got jerseys to give away, but it's not about that. It's about uh, showing your respect. Speaking of showing your respect, got a nice coffee there for yourself, have you, mate? Tea. Tea, okay. Yeah. We didn't want I like no? tea. Do you like tea? Oh, I do like boys, tea. Boys, boys, boys. <laughs> oh, good scrum. Oh, wow. Nice DC. Yeah, Hands on that. Yeah. Yes! Is that Kenners? Oh, oh Kenners. Oh, oh, Jack. Come yeah, on, here we go. go. We're on, we're on. Ooh. Good Marcus. read from Marcus. Oh, okay, high again. Literally in front of the referee. Absolutely astonishing. I think there should be an inquest. Oh! Oh, oh, Simmer. oh my god. Oh, and he's turning uh, over. Oh no, 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 no. No, no. Oh no! These Falcon boys are absolutely all over our breakdown. Yeah. They're just timing that arrival, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Wilson's all and over. It doesn't it. help. We are actually stepping into the tackle. Yeah. We should be like breaking out. We're by, by ourselves. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, he's had a snap at that and lost it. I don't know. It's it, so. So have a look at this. He's had a go at it and then knocked it, knocked it on. But oh, it's, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, I'm not disputing that it's a turnover because it is. I can't do another 37 minutes of this. Oh my God! Tell you what, that's important. So I was at uh, I was at some cricket last night. I was up at the county ground in Northamptonshire, and oh quite early in the Worcestershire innings big shot over cow corner stewards not paying attention just worn it straight oh. in the chest <laughs> now I know you're getting into cricket have you handled a cricket ball yet no, no. you do not want to wear one Is from it? 100 meters they are forceful projectiles I think would be a um, I mean you'll be pleased to know that they they are safe and sound and it was no more than a shock but it could have been really nasty Come on, Quinns, then. Let's have some D. Oh. Up we come. Oh, oh. yes! Go on, Marsh. Oh. Unlucky Burrell. Burrell. <laughs> Simo in at nine again, yes! Yeah, over the top. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, Tony. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we go! Oh, look at that! What a finish. Beauty! Lovely, lovely skill game yeah, for Tommy Lorde. Oh, the boys can play! Yeah. This boy is going to be... This one, Marcus, is so good. Yeah, nice from Lorde. Sold him with the eyes as well. That yeah. little... Um, you'd expect that pass to come inside, but... Oh. A nice blind pass there. There he goes. Oh. Just total football, lads. Great finish. Slam dunk finish <laughs> as well. Go on, liner. Oh. He'll love that as well. Good finish. In out. Ah, oh, there we go. 33 12. Bit of breathing space. Oh, I've said it now, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Marcus Smith. So much shine. Gonna con like this conditioner. That'll be his next. Uh, that'll be his next endorsement, won't it? Some kind of leave-in conditioner. <laughs> right, what is he? Four from four. This for five from five. Tough nudge. This from the. So the home game against uh, Bath. It was all fun and games until Marcus missed a couple of penalties and the crowds were groaning. I was like, oh! Oh! Let's yeah. have another look at this. Lorde. It's good football from the boy. Yeah. 
It's lovely. Deep with the restart. Yeah, just bang this back. Got under it. Needs a good chase. Needs a good chase. Yeah. And one of my favourite moments of the Bath game was actually March's conversion. <laughs> All the build up to it. And then he, he blocks he, it wide. He, he practices religiously as well. Does it? he? Yeah. Have you got like a kicking crew? He, he often often joins us. It's normally yeah? obviously Smithy, Weddy, myself, and um, March will always be there. He'll always be there. New kicking tea every week. I think there might be a few uh, tactical injuries in this second half. Tired lungs, because <laughs> yeah. it is hot out there. So right, more messages coming in. Keep them coming thick and fast. We've got these jerseys to give away. Simon Hellier, great to hear from you, Simon. Not the ending we'd have wanted for Mike. It doesn't detract from his outstanding achievements for the club. You're absolutely right, and the numbers are astonishing. 351 appearances, or 353 appearances, 99 tries. And if you add to that 70-odd England caps as well, like over 400 appearances as a professional rugby player is just staggering. Absolutely astonishing. Still got those, that jersey to give away as well. Where is it in my collection? So we've already given away the red and white London jersey we've got the Save the Oceans jersey as well this is the one for the last try nice shirt this is oh, really it's nice. my favourite one and that was for the last try score so you've got until 70 pick a number between 1 and 5 Brett um, 3 you've got until 73 minutes to pick your final <laughs> try score <laughs> <laughs> oh, first scrum in the second half then Danny Kerr out there. He's, well, he's probably going to come off today, isn't he? Because Martin's going to have a run out, but he's not going to want it the way he's playing today. Yeah, he's going to want that hat trick. How could... <laughs> this guy's been a bit of a mess today. <laughs> what are you chuckling at? <laughs> Just the two nines. <laughs> Different, different breed of human being, aren't they? <clears throat> it's not a bad sub that Newcastle have got ready here. No. Oh God! <laughs> Look at the whip. Yeah, he's a big. <laughs> Who is he warming up to replace? Did you play for England as well? I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't think so. No. no. There will be some people watching at home on the laptop who are probably screaming at our uh, our ignorance. Come on, then, boys, win the penalty. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Oh. oh. <clears throat> He's not making any friends in West London today. How? All right. Well, seeing as we're looking for a bit of uh, something to get excited about, we're going to give away our first Mike Brown jersey. This one here. And it is for this message that's going to come up on the screen now. Edward Hubbard. If you play for the badge on the front, they'll remember the name on the back. I like that. Brownie's certainly done that and be sorely missed at the stoop. A true Quinn who bleeds the quarters. Oh, good man, Edwards. Congratulations. And those lovely words have earned you this jersey with 15 brown on the back. And we'll get in touch and we'll send that to you. We'll be giving away one more. So if you think you can match those lovely words, then do send them in. Wowzers. Oh, it's so frustrating the way it's happened because the setup was all there. Falcons last game of the season needed one try for a hundred. Ah. Oh well, it doesn't always work that way. 
but he will certainly be an asset to uh, to Falcons next season, that's for sure. Come on, Equins, let's have a bit of D. Keep him out. Baldur's has snuck up there. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, turn that over, thank you. Oh, and it's gone back to... What? <clears throat> this is a mad game. Oh. Spotted the knock Spotted the knock on now, thank you. Some slightly ironic cheering from the Harbour Queen's faithful there. Yeah, what's the... Yeah, so he's not... He's clearly knocked that on there. Like, that is right in front of the referee. Yeah. You've gone all quiet on me, mate. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Are you shaving your legs? No. Just keep it there, right? It's oh, too muscular, sure. mate. The hair can't grow through, is that? <laughs> no. It's all the tape. <laughs> <laughs> From the white tape, I could put it on my legs, yeah. <clears throat> Five grand a game on tape. <laughs> Tell you what, there's a, there's a huge flight case full of all the, the tape in the, uh, in the medical room. Yeah. I genuinely think it's the most valuable thing in the yeah. club. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much money's worth in there. Oh, mate. This, this club goes through a lot of tape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on in, boys. Sharp exit. Ooh, what's right oh. then, how can this not be? So every time Newcastle have pushed early, it's been a reset. Every time Quinns have pushed early... Oh, here we go. Right, red card for six here. Yeah, a couple, a couple elbows throwing. Right? Yeah, elbow on Lorde. That's from the Andre Esterhazen School of Stupid Red Cards. And he's got to look at that. Oh, look at Aaron being the peacemaker there. Yeah, I think he's got to look at this. I love DC doing kick up, sir. Staying well out of it. Yeah. All the lads are like, where were you? He's like, I was doing my kick ups. So, right, have a look at this now. So, oh, elbow, there's one. There's one. Yeah, and do you know, that's the same player. Then Lorde gets involved. Punch, elbow. That's if Esther Hazens is a red card, that's a red card. He's not even looking at it. Is he? No. Okay, bring the subs in. We need Collier, Razor. The absolute boys, you mean? Yeah. There's my boys, Santi. He's not, not even looking at it. No. The thing is, I can't climb into him either because he follows me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Great graphic. Yeah, yeah. I thought at Christoph yeah. underscore Ridley had a superb game at the stoop today. Oh, go on. Oh, yeah. Be good. Oy. Oh, not sure about that. Left corner now. Yeah. Oh, tried it. Oh, good bounce though. Marcus leads him chasing his own edge again. Oh. <laughs> What's Ty doing there? <laughs> oh. All that missed all that was missing was him taking a seat and having a little sip of someone's lager, <laughs> but it's not COVID compliant. Oh good lad. Right, Grace is getting warm. Oh, he's got his vest back on. <laughs> I thought I thought we were going to see the man there. Right, I'm not I'm not checking my Insta. I'm checking my messages for. Uh... Oh, we've got so many lovely messages coming through for Brian. It's great. It's crowd. Lovely noises. Good ball. Yeah. Oi. Oh. One more, one more. High again, he's literally pulled him down by his neck. Yeah, kick it off of this. Bomb. Yeah. Unbelievable. Will calm me down with a question shortly, lads. It's 
a great kick. Aaron. Come on, Aaron. Oh, they've done well there. Yeah, really well. Right, the next time the ball goes dead, we'll have another question for you, lads. Right, come on, let's have a turn over there then. Come on, come on. This is quite astonishing, the amounts of high tackles they've got away with today. Oh, nice ball. Shot. Yeah, well done, man. Nice, Aaron. Yeah, I think maybe if it, if it wasn't last game of the season, would they be looking into this a little bit more? Probably, but... Just a, just a couple of penalties yeah. would be nice. <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> because he's appealing for the offside. Marlon's kept walking in That's and then he's Red locked free. it on. <laughs> oh, I love that. Vintage Joe Marler. Right, let's have a question then. Asking the experts in association with Charles Stanley. Look at Marlow in the top of the... Right. <laughs> so, Sortex <laughs> Clapham Junction last week, head to toe in his quins gear. What's your favourite bit of kit? Oh. oh, hang on, we'll come back to that because Wilco's coming off and for his last time at the Stoop, Baldur's is coming off as well and getting a great ovation as well. Rightly so. We're gonna miss him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll miss him. Very nice place. Any man that can get Mike Brown in a Wales jersey is all right <laughs> with me. Uh, so Newcastle have done their whole front row. We've done everyone apart from Marla, who's like he's got an engine, isn't he? He's a very fit boy. Just keeps going. So anyway, favorite so bit of Quinn's gear, mate. Clapham Junction. So head to toe. so so I'd like to explain this. So <laughs> okay. the boys. Um, I got a lift to uh, Patney, right? And then I get the, uh, I, I get picked up by Simo. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm usually in my kit. So um, ah. yeah. So I'm like straight after training. After training, they just drop me off at. Uh, so that's why I probably ah, okay. saw me there. And it's not it's not intentionally like I'm <laughs> walking out and like, yo, check me out. <laughs> And everybody knows that his favourite bit of kit is the vest, closely followed by the Super Baby baseball cap. Closely <laughs> followed by a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Bring the vibes. Right, Grazer is in. I'd quite like him to get a try, you know. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? What are we on? 58 minutes. 33-12. See if I mean, they're, they're coming with so much line speed. I'd like to see a little bit more from uh, yes. just those okay. little kicks from Smithy and Deese. Okay. Just those little dinks over, just to stop their line speed a bit. Yeah, just to keep them honest. Yeah, because they've, they've caught us a, a couple of times now in the second half. Mm. We did it well the first half. I mean, I, I don't want to curse it too much because there's a lot of rugby still to be played, and we've nearly seen one there. The one up tackling has been a lot better than it was against Bath. Yeah. yeah it's been a big focus for us. <laughs> At the end Here we go. Yeah. Oh. At the end of this season, obviously when things calm down, and if you have Ooh. Oh he's quick. He is quick. Goodness me, what a finish. Oh, oh, fair geez. play. Fair play. Anyway, let's pretend that hasn't happened. Um, a super cut from every angle. Of DC getting stepped by that second <laughs> um, Adam Radwan has got wheels, lads. Yeah, wow, he's, yeah. he's very quick. He's, he's in England. He's in, he's in England squad, yeah. That has happened seconds after I said the one up tackling's been yeah. there this year. <laughs> and he. That's nice. so, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, little, just a little block on taps Seven, there. Eight. Smart block. He just went through eight plays there. Fair play. Yeah. It's a good finish. It's a great finish. Yeah. Credit rates to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Tizzy coming on now. Yeah, Tizzy! Win it, win it. Yeah. Patina. Yes, yeah. Tizzy! Oh, for oh, 
Simo. All right. That's the big man for the semi final. Yeah. Yeah. Important game. Important game. Oh. So the captain Scarlet's been in touch. Thanks for everything, Brownie. Go well with our wishes in your heart to Geordie Land. But come back soon to your home at the stoop. Always a home. I've got his name on the bar. But yes, you are. Uh, you are right. No, I suppose massive challenge for him as well, just to, to show everybody that he can do it somewhere else. Yeah, I know. Oh, 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 my. oh my god! Oh. Oh. Come on then, let's. That is Radwan is not. Do you know what that reminds me of? I don't know if either of you are football fans, but a few years ago, Man United were playing uh, Bayern Munich, and Patrice Evra has scored one of the best goals I've ever seen in my life. And five seconds later, he's just been skinned, and Bayern Munich have scored and won the game. This is great from March. Could have perhaps held on to it, but uh, that's a mad offload. Why has he done that? Anyway, let's have a question while they're setting for the scrum. Thank you so much for getting stuck in today. Remember, you've still got a chance to win another jersey. <laughs> Suva, <laughs> who is your favourite South African <laughs> and the skipper who sat <laughs> 10 yards that way has asked that? Uh, no pressure. It's, it's probably definitely a skipper himself. Uh, Stefan, we've really bonded since I've moved here. He's as one of my cover buddies as well. Yeah. So every time I'm drinking cover, he's always there next to me. So... Um, it's probably my uh, South African. So your favourite South African, like above Nelson Mandela? <laughs> yeah, because I've met him personally. And he's a, he's a very good captain. Yeah, yeah, top man. You can see Caden back on the pitch now. Oh, so what's this, Aaron to full back, Caden to the wing maybe? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, Tyrone's got a nice haircut, eh? Who? No, no. Tyrone. Yeah. yeah. They've sort of the top out, yeah. like the top has been... Steph Levis getting, getting his tyres pumped by the big man. <laughs> we need James Chisholm in there. <laughs> Mr. CEO. There he is. Choco... Cho 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 Chocky nut pot. Chocky nut pot. Choc have you, I've not tried one, are they good? Yeah, yeah. It's ten, very good. 10 grams of protein per pot. It's important you know yeah. these things. <laughs> oh, so good to see Tiz out in there. Yeah. It's going to be the future. Big future for the club. He looks like he was hatched from the same farm as Finn, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Taking a second to enjoy it, you know. Right, try time here. I'd love a 40 pointer. Cut boulders on the bike. Showing Worcester that he's staying fit. <laughs> Did you say they've released 20 players? 20 players. <laughs> Worcester, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Go again. On call. Let's have, uh, let's have another question then, shall we, lads, while we're waiting for the boys to make a decision here. To the corner, here we go. Who's the biggest joker in the changing room? Um, Brad Knight, good yeah. question. Joker? I don't know why, man. Langy? Langy, 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 Langy jokes about Langy, 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 Grizzly's oh, in there, let's go. Grizzly's in there, look at him. Oh, Grizzly's got the ball. Oh, he came in one-on-one with that nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a ball. Oh, oh what a seed. We finally get to him. Oh, that is a great finish, a great line, but what a pass. And here we go, knocking on the door of 40 points again. I love this game. You see that pass? Man. That's lovely. Watch this. Oh. What a 
Nice backpack. <laughs> oh, what a ball that is. Oh, that's DC coming off. What a final contribution to the game. So on comes Martin, he's got 19 minutes. <laughs> He's two and two. He's gonna he's gonna this up. He's gonna step it up. Maybe a little line break. Yeah, a little line breaks. Maybe, just maybe, he might be a chance for the last try scorer. Yeah. You've got nine minutes to get your guesses in. As long as Dom is still on the pitch, you can't ever write him off getting, no. getting a try. Oh, that's been knocked on. Oh my god. Just hold it. Yeah. There's obviously no... Come on. That's offside. I don't see how that's an advantage. But anyway, I'm lo losing myself in the nonsense. Got plenty of juice on that. Come to Razzle. Oh, shot. Nice. Santi. Oh. Bit of a collision there. All right. Oh, nice tip. Keep getting up. Keep getting up. Oh. Here we go. Keep coming up. Yeah, one more. Yeah. One more. Good yeah. shot. Oh, lovely. Oh. I thought he'd nick that. Oh, oh yes, Thomas! Oh, Cades! Cades, 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 Cades. Oh, they're... all right. Fine. Yeah. Oh, very good. All right. Cool, let's have another brownie comment then. We've still got another jersey to give away, remember? Keep your kind words coming in. Nick Quinn, Mike, you've been an absolute legend, mate. It's a shame you can't win a trophy at HQ, but we'll do it for you. This season, you've been versatile, and I don't think anybody can thank you enough. Have fun. Well, that's, uh, are you going to send him some... Uh, Great kick. Are you going to give him some Newcastle hot spots? Uh, brownie. Brownie, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've told him. I've told him in uh, Nathaniel some spots, some nice beaches up there. You'll be so surprised. I was Be shocked. <laughs> I was <laughs> absolutely shocked. Did coming from beach, you beach. beaches here, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Tommy Lorde has had a good 60 odd minutes today. Had a great shift. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jake's chisholm. That's an injection of energy. Good ball. Here we go then. Oh. 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 It just. Come on. There's Lukey Northmore there showing off his hamstrings. Let's have another question then. Let's see if we can actually get an answer out of Brett for something. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you might. <laughs> well, it's a question for Tex, but we'll see. Uh, will we hear one final Tex bomb before we leave? <laughs> what is a Tex bomb? <laughs> Morgan Burger. Uh, Morgan, hopefully you're not referring to uh, the fact that he manages to say the F word at least once a <laughs> broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> not today, bro. Oh, not, not today, not, not today. today. Yeah. Keep your messages coming in. These are brilliant. Thanks, everyone. 15 minutes to go. Come on. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, the scrum has not been fun yeah. today, is it? Just super scrappy. 
you know, it'd be nice. Now, not that it not that it matters a huge amount, but if we could not ship another try and deny them a bonus point, yeah, maybe get another couple of a couple of our own. Fifty would be nice. Yeah, fifty would be nice. We got fi- yeah, we got fifty against, against Gloss, Gloss, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got high 40s against uh, Wasps, and then it's 40-odd against Bath as well, well yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Spawn's not going our way at all. No, no. And that's not, not, not really... that I have a clue of what's going on in there, but... <laughs> no, but the ref does right. Yeah. So Lukey's coming on. Who do you reckon he's going to... For March, maybe? Yeah, I think no, maybe rest, rest March. Oh, he's missed touch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll go on. He's coming off here. It's going to be March, is it? No, yes. No. One of them. No, it's taps. Okay. No, it's Smithy. Taps to 10. <laughs> Tap, taps to 10. Yeah. Luke to 12. March at 13. All right. Yeah, I'm here for it. Why not? Why not? Is that all the bench now? All the backs, at least. Yeah, it looks like it's the whole bench. Oh, oh lovely line. Oh, no. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Come on, Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought he was. Thought that was getting released. The breakdown has gone to pot, to say the least. Oh, a pick goes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's a great kick. Good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on then. Let's have a bit of ball. Come on. Taps once. Left corner. Have Left a little corner. go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the box left that. <laughs> yes, Taps! <laughs> Benny Taps doing bits. The Swiss army knife of the back line. Ooh. Stepping. Doing, yeah. Go on. Yeah, nice Side's eye. on, short side's on. Oh, oh that's all right. If it goes off Tapawai, then back off Tapawai. Nice touch. So. You were right though, it was on. It was on. <laughs> we just needed the ball a second earlier. Yeah, yeah. So in about seven minutes, we need to do our DHL moment that delivers. And this is the first one of these you've done, Brett. It doesn't, it's not like a man of the match award. It is one individual moment that you think has stood out today. So it could be a tackle, a try, a pass, a passage of play, you know, somebody being on the pitch or, or whatever. Just can, one. can it be Simo's disallowed? Oh, do you know what? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that is. I think it has to yeah. be. Man, that's, there's, there's no I'm conversation still, to be had. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what a moment. Right, one well, more messages we've had in. This is great. Remember, you've still got a couple of minutes to get your last try score in at the moment. If you guessed March, then you could be, you could be entered in. And we've got this gorgeous jersey to give away as well. Where have I, where have I put it? It's under the pile of gorgeous jerseys. Uh, oh, and spoiler alert as well. Um, if you don't want to know what the current situation is in the Sale versus Exeter Chiefs game, block your ears now. Sale are winning. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's a good nudge. That's at Exeter as well. That's at Exeter, yes. Should we check the score? Uh, come on, social media. Right, boys, no tries here. If you could make sure that nothing happens while I'm there. Uh, Exeter 10, sale 19, at Sandy Park. 
Oh, oh. let's go. Get high. Shot marks. Hmm. Right then, boys. Come on. Bit of D here. Oh, go on. Thomas wants. Oh. Thomas has been... And he's still being held on to there. What I will say for this Newcastle team... What, what's, a, what's a polite word for filth? Nuggety? Rugged? Yeah. yeah. Hand. Resilient. Resilient. Resilient's a good one. But I... Look at them. Here I'd be more again. inclined to go with dirty, because they've gone away with Fern murder today. has made a big impact. Fern, yeah. yeah. Fern, yeah. yeah. Come on, boys. Oh, James yeah. Chisholm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, close. Close. Shot, Domers. Oh, good. You cheers. Cheers. No advantage. Ten minutes to go. In the sunshine. No bonus points for them. Please. So we've got another question. And it's a big one. Do you think we can win the semi-final and the final? Absolutely. Definitely. Oh. We're going all the way. And I'll be there to celebrate. <laughs> champagne. <laughs> hey, I've got my ski goggles on. Hey, with champagne all day, baby. <laughs> Another advantage coming here. What is going on? Come, Come on, on, ref. Hit him. Oh. Good feet. Really good feet. Yeah. Good liner there defending in the middle. Yeah, sneaky. Quick ball, quick ball's a killer. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Come on, boys. Good shot, guys. Eh? They are stacked on the left. Luke is yeah, calling for a need couple to more. Forward, sharp as you. Ooh, oh, right, right one. What's it called for there? Offside. Ah, oh, boring. So if Sale beats um, uh, Exeter, are they going second? I think, I think so. Yeah, so yeah. essentially it's a playoff for a home semi final. Mm. Sales, sales running where they've had us, Bristol, and Exeter. Yeah. And, oh, fair play. And then if they get the home semi as well, they will be bang up for it. Oh no, come on boys. Oh, this no, is looking a bit on. try isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. The sense is coming, eh? Yeah, yeah there it is. Yeah, it is. Always oh, going to have a purple patch on there. <sighs> These boys don't give up. Oh well, this is what it is. We're just, we're just getting ready for the semi final now. So. Uh, fine. Try for Newcastle, score by number 16, Carl Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nick Heath's down there, great friend of the club, former stadium announcer here. And, <laughs> He's, uh, he's in as, as an honoured guest today and he's been doing a few bits around the ground, doing a great job as always. <laughs> and he's just looked at me, looked at his watch and gone, come on, let's get on with it. I think he's thinking about the tasty pints after the game. <laughs> and good for him too. Massive congratulations to Nick as well. He's going to be doing the England Internationals on Channel 4, so show some love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck, man. Like a great deal. 
Come on, 40-26. Let's have another try. Give us something to celebrate. So are we... The DHL moment that delivers then, are we unanimous in that it's uh, yeah. Simo? Simo? It's got to be Simo. Yeah, oh. Simo. I was so pleased for him. <laughs> Mate, that was a hell of a run. Definitely his first try this season, possibly his first try for Quinns. I... First try in the Prem? Oof. Mate, well, he's not going to score many, is he? Oh, good oh, take. Good take. Good take. Come on, boys, so a bit of, bit of magic here. One more. Oh, that, nice. that's gone loose at the breakdown. It's not the breakdown. Is... Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, that was nearly a DHL moment that delivers there. That one-handed pickup yeah. from Morris. Oh, just the last one. Oh, he's turned that over, is he? No. No. Oh, 17-19. Exeter have scored. Go on, Luki, go on. Um, I, I forgot that Exeter always, without fail, leave it till yeah, late and win. Yeah, that is yeah. a great shot on Kenneth. Oh! Jesus. The only thing is, like, if they, oh. if they nick another one now, then it's squeaky bum time. That's what I was <laughs> like, going to say. We don't, we don't want to no. overplay here now. No. Ah. Oh. So it's just got a bit flat, isn't it? Yeah. So that is going to... Did that game kick off the same time as this game? Oh. Chiefs. Hey, you are getting better. Man. Oh, um, mate, are you uh, yeah. suffering? Come on, it. Right. Yes, Kenneth. Yes, Kenneth. Oh, oh Kenneth's got it on the toe. Oh, no way. Come on, please. Please. Oh! It's total football! <laughs> Simo is Simo, nice try! <laughs> oh. Amazing! There it is, the oh. March loves. Oh. oh, I tell you what, <laughs> Martin <laughs> Zee got it with a dead. What a nice step up there. I think, uh, quick, knock it over before. Oh, please, please. No, he's all right. Oh, oh and March is going to get his two-pointer <laughs> yeah. as well. <laughs> ah. Oh, well, if you said Martin Landajo, then... Did I say Landajo? Yes, No, I yes. might have said Northmore. Either way. Still, you... still three minutes. I think you said Landajo, yeah. I think he's... If you said Landajo, then you are currently in pole position for this bad boy. And no more entries into the competition as well. Oh, Quinn's 47, Falcons 26. Good kick from uh, That's not gone 10. Oh! That's, oh. Is absolutely... I wish he'd left that. Yeah. Oh, well. That was an absolute joy. That was so good. <laughs> And Kenneth is playing way beyond his years ago. Spicy. Yeah. Spicy stuff. He's a big boy as well, eh? Yeah. Like six, two or six three. So, post-match, stick with us. It might take a little while, but we're going to get our usual post-match reaction. But there's also going to be a tribute to Brownie that we're going to be bringing you live as well. So, don't go anywhere. And I'm not going to give too many details on it in case it doesn't happen, you know? But, two and a half on the clock, 47-26. A semi-final round the corner. A better scrum. Come on, get in there, get in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Hey! Oh, yeah! No arms Get tackle, Ridley, that's a yellow card. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Yeah, that's, that's a good shot. Is that Collier? Yeah. What the? It is last day of term stuff, this, isn't it? The 45 is absolutely terrible. <laughs> 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 they're, playing, 
Blame up the best. Can't defend the bounce pass, <laughs> but, Oh, off the back. He's oh, been superb wow. since he's come on. Oh, 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 he wants it as well. Go on, Lewis. Oh, Go on, Lewis. Go on, Lewis. Oh, Aaron Morris. Aaron Morris oh, gets tackled oh, and I've ruined it for everyone. He should have so given sorry. it to Martin. Given it to Martin. Martin was shouting for it. Oh, Martin's going to dummy. Lethal from the yard out. Oh, oh Grazer raises the bat for the half century. I love this picture. Oh, and he loves it as well. Is there a broader smile in rugby than the carpenter Joe Gray? I've got a feeling that my voice has properly gone for that as well. Like, Joe Gray! <laughs> is, is he checking for a forward pass? Oh, Taps wants to kick. Give it to Martin. Oh, Taps is uh, last game at the stoop as well, oh, though. Of course. Martin got the try, let, let Taps Yeah, 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 yeah. What are they checking for here? Too good. I tell you what, if Ridley robs Grazer and Simo oh, today. Simo. No, he's saying it's all good. Oh. What a try. 52 26. Come on then, Benny Tax. Yes, Tax. And this will be the last kick of the game as well, I think. Yeah! Yes! Love it. Oh, okay. Full time, 54-26. Oh, thoroughly enjoyable 80 minutes of rugby boys. Yeah, that's good. Amazing. The that, last the last 10 minutes was good. Uh, <laughs> so 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 good. So our moment that delivers, we're sticking with it. Nice Simo getting wrong. So and are you you boys are gonna go and get involved with this post-match stuff, are you? Yeah. In yeah. which case, ignore me, thank you, and thank you for, for everything. For this, thank you, for, yeah. for thank so, you much thank you so much more. Uh, thank and you. good luck boys, yeah. Care of yeah. legends. Yeah. Can't wait to see what thank happens you. next. Um, but go and get stuck in with the lads. Obviously, final home game of the season. Send your messages to these boys personally. They've been brilliant on the show and they've been brilliant Harlequins as well. And uh, obviously this club continues to move onwards and upwards, but this is a special group of players. They've got a great bond, a great relationship. So I can say it, they will be missed. Um, we are going to be bringing you as much as we can from this post-match stuff. Danny Kerr and Mike Brown are going to have a chat out on the middle of the pitch and we're going to bring you that. I'm going to head pitch side as well to see if I can bring you as much or as little as reaction, uh, a reaction as I can. But, as I said, stick with us. Don't, uh, don't turn off just yet. But thank you. Thank you for tuning in this season. Um, if everything goes according to plan, we'll be bringing you Harlequins Live next year as well. It is a joy to be your conduit between the club and the fans and the players and everything else. Um, all of you who've tuned in, who've asked questions, those of you that have sat back and just enjoyed, it is a real privilege to do this. And we've still got a semi-final and maybe a final to come. So, post-match stuff, enjoy it. Stick with me, I'll be back soon, alright? We have a very special presentation.
So we remind you to stay in your seats as we have a very special presentation coming up as we say goodbye to some of those players who have given so much to the shirt and to the club. How about that from Kenners? Opening the scoring again here at the stoop and then putting that nudge through for Martin Landajo. What a moment for him on his final performance at this great ground to get that five pointer. And then Tapuai slotting it through with his last touch here at the stoop as well. Fairy tale stuff. And a full time score of Quinn's 54, Falcons 26. see Mickey Campagnaro out there looking like he's already <laughs> moving back to continental Europe in that flat cap and beard he actually looks a bit like Conor McGregor but another win fourth place already secured a bonus point for Newcastle Falcons I think they'll be pretty optimistic about where they're going next year and they will have a pretty special fullback and maybe one more no confirmation but maybe another Harlequin heading north However, a couple of Quinn's legends are going to be presenting the the to their departing teammates. Very sure we have club captain Stefan Leffies and Danny Kerr. Stefan Levis and Danny Kerr now making their way out and to make presentations to our leaving players. Eleven in total. Nick Heath on the microphone just announcing the names of the players who are leaving us who are all being presented with a signed photo from the squad I mean so often this year we talked about what a special group they all are and the two scrum halves embracing they have dovetailed beautifully this year oh big text the co-host what an icon just an entirely lovable bloke. And now Benny taps. Feel as though he's still got a massive part to play between now and the end of the season. Oh, Brett Heron. Just as we're getting to know him on the show, he's away. Listen out for his announcement as well. He's got a very exciting place that he's hoping to end up. Campagnaro. AKA Conor McGregor, what an outfit! And Sugar, Glenn Young heading north of the border, and best of luck to him too. Oh, Boulders, listen to that cheer as well, incredibly popular in his time here been part of that rock star front row this year with Wilco and Joe Marler and Worcester have got themselves an absolute cracker there he's just waving his kids on as well oh, speaking of guys who make the group better easy's away and Lange leaving at the peak of his powers really good form here has got him a call up into the Scotland squad a deserved call as well and again he disappears north to try and improve those chances of playing test match rugby oh Nathan Earl back in the side last week couple of tries and if he stays fit he is going to be an asset wherever he goes incredible talent Over there in a couple of 
weeks' time, we can go and get that trophy, eh? That'd be nice, right? Yeah. Uh, secondly, I think on behalf of everyone here, we want to say thank you so much to everyone that's leaving us this year. Every single person's contributing on and off the field. We wish you all the best with uh, with what's next. Thank you. But there's, there's one person that's, that's leaving us who stands, stands alone. He is the, the most capped Harlequins player of all time. And it's this man here that's going to come on the screens now. Please. So Danny Kerr beginning the tribute to Mike Brown. Everyone's turned to the big screen with pretty emotional montage of his Quinn's best moments and God, it could be feature length really couldn't it they named the bar after him when he became Quinn's most capped player that number has gone up to over 350 now 99 tries to go with it a premiership trophy so many incredible memories so many individual moments five pointers try saving tackles enormous contributions to this team that everybody watching and listening to this and everybody here in the ground absolutely loves this club harlequins and a real goosebumps moment as these few thousand inside this ground that seats so many more rise to their feet in unison for Mike Brown. So Brownie, we're just going to ask a couple of questions. Firstly, as I said, Quinn's legend. I think you can hear here every single person in, in this stadium absolutely loves you mate we want to thank you for everything that you've done for this club can you can you just sum up your last 16 years here at harlequins can you just give us a bit of uh, mike brown what, what it means so much to you to play for this club yeah look playing for this club means everything to me you know it's been special um the majority of my time at, at this club is you know, held, held some fond memories, you know, under the lights at the stoop, European games, games where we've, you know, scored in the last few minutes to win, over the road for the Premiership win and then coming back and celebrating with, with uh, all the supporters on the pitch with Minty's famous song. You know, those days, you know, will, will always, you know, live in my, in my heart, in my, in my head. And, um, yeah, look, sport's unpredictable, isn't it? You think you're going to be at a place for, for your whole career, but unfortunately, it doesn't always work out how you want. But you know, I've got so many, like I said, special memories and um, came at a young age, became a man, I hope. Um, met my beautiful wife. My she son is on, beautiful, yeah. <laughs> son on my shoulders. <laughs> yeah. So I wouldn't have achieved, been able to achieve my dreams and have the family I have today without joining this club at the age of, you know, 17, 18. So, you know, I've got all those amazing memories and one constant that, that has been throughout my career is the amazing support uh, like we've got here today. Not just for me individually. Not just, not just for me individually, but for, for the team throughout my uh, 16, 17, 17 years, you know, it's been unbelievable. Um, the support we get um, at the ground. Um, on, on social media, uh, through the week, things like that, you know, it, it really does help us and um, we, we all really appreciate it, uh, not just myself, but, you know, every single player. Well, mate, um, before I start crying, we'll, uh, we'll get off the mics, but, mate, for me personally, thank you so much. I've, I've loved every single minute of playing with you for 15 years. I do not want to play against you. Uh, that's going to be interesting. You're definitely the first one. I'm going to nausea every breakdown. Yeah. Um, um, 
Yeah, look, I've, I've, I've played with some unbelievable players like yourself, like this group here that can go on and achieve, you know, whatever they want um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I'll be, you know, your biggest supporter. Uh, like these guys, I'll be cheering you on. But yeah, I've played with some unbelievable players, um, which has been an absolute privilege um, to put on the show with players like yourself, um, guys I've grown up with, guys that I've met over the last couple of years, the guys leaving um, alongside me this season, you've all had a massive positive um, effect on this club, so you should, you should all be proud. And it's not just about me leaving, it's about you guys as well. Um, I've enjoyed every minute. Um, I've enjoyed every minute with every one of you guys, staff as well. That includes you, most of you anyway. Um, that includes you. Um, yeah, you, you'll all, all be in my heart as well, and, and uh, you'll always have a friend for life, so whenever you're up north, make sure you give me a shout. I promise I'll have a drink with you for once. Um, so, yeah, uh, give me a shout, and um, yeah, look forward to, to playing you all next season. From the bottom of everyone's hearts in here, Brownie, thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you. A oh, beautiful presentation there by Danny Kerr, Mike Thank Brown. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, you know, make sure in the next couple of weeks you, you really are the difference, like you always are for us, uh, pushing for what we want to achieve this season. And lastly, just want to thank uh, the people that are with me today, um, up in Box 12, my beautiful wife, like I mentioned, my son on my shoulders, um, my parents, my dad and my stepmom, um, Margot, who always gets me on the pitch and in the right shape. Um, my father-in-law, Tony, um, appreciate you all, appreciate the support. Um, the rugby journey continues, so, so we'll see what happens. Thank you. One more time, Mike Brown. Oh, incredible stuff. A legend not just of this club, but of English rugby in general. An understated, as always, to be fair, and he more will be appearances very in welcome the back here than anyone as an else. opponent more for the Harlequins, for Harlequins than anyone I'm else. sure is, uh, is not something anybody would have expected to say. Is Nick Heath reading what sounds like a eulogy, but some of the things that he's saying with regards to his appearances, his try scoring record, he's won the trophies here, he's done it all. And if we just have a look over this way, this group of players, the last time this group of players will be photographed at the stoop. The group of players that have taken us to the playoffs for the first time in seven years. Stick with us. I'm going to try and get some interviews. I think the players are going to try and head for the changing room. But I'll raise my voice, see what I can do for you. But it might take a little bit longer than usual because I think the players are going to go and do a lap. We're in the shade over here in front of the Charles Stanley stand. It's beautiful conditions, but over there in the DHL, those guys have been baking hot for the entire match. Fair play. Hope they've had sun cream on. But eventually this lap of honour is going to happen. All the players out there, or the majority of them, in their Harlequins Pride T-shirt. Of course, this Pride match, the second time it's happened, hopefully, the second time in what will become an annual occurrence and we hope that a lot more clubs will follow suit. Harlequins Pride, the LGBTQ plus supporters association officially named, officially launched as well. If you weren't here at the beginning of the show, then when this finishes, rewind and find out ways that you too can get involved. So they're going in. What's that? 
clockwise. They're going in a clockwise direction around the pitch. So stick with us. But uh, again, I've said it a few times, just like to take this opportunity to say thank you for joining us this season. It's been a hell of a ride. I might sound like a broken record, but cast your mind back to Exeter and then get in, I'm going to say it, robbed against Bristol at home, then Racing 92, then not winning against London Irish when we threw it away, and it really wasn't looking like a great season. And then the turnaround that has culminated up until now in sunshine at the stoop. That group of players doing a lap of honour in front of supporters after a 54-26 victory against Newcastle Falcons saying goodbye to the fans and then with a semi-final against Bristol Bears to look forward to. I've checked the score in the Exeter uh, sale game as well and Chiefs have managed to do it again. What an unbelievable outfit they are. Oh, got a few minutes to kill. Mike, come, come step into my office. I'm not going to ask you too much because I've heard you're in the vocal wars but how great is it to be back? That was a that was a pretty pretty special few moments there with with Brownie DC and all the lads that were leaving. Yeah, my voice was cracking because of laryngitis, but to be honest, it would have been cracking because of emotion uh, with that uh, send off for Mike. What a special player he's been. What a special man. Uh, how he's embodied the quarters uh, for the last what did he say? 17 years, something like that. Unbelievable service to Harlequins. Uh, from that man and it was his will to win that's helped us win trophies before and has got us onto the verge of a shot at the title this season uh, with a group of players uh, who have gelled so amazingly in the second half of the season and it's that Harlequin spirit that's got them there. Dare to dream. I, it's the hope that kills you, it always is. But just in the words that he said there, it, it sort of sums him up as a man and as a player, he gets his points across so well, but there's, there's no nonsense or anything like that. And when he talks, you listen. I believed every word, and it was a real sort of hairs on the arm, stood on end moment, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and uh, he's naturally a shy man. He doesn't like talking to the media, he's never liked giving interviews, um, and he can come across as being quite taciturn. That's not the case at all. You can see that from the uh, love and respect that his teammates have for him. Uh, what a special part he's been of this group uh, but now it's a case I know he will give absolutely everything over his last two weeks as a Quinn despite not being able to take the field to, to make that team a success and to get them over the line in the semi-final and hopefully got well in the final as well he's that kind of bloke what I found really interesting though watching the players as they come off the pitch and, and that performance and the way Quinns have played all the way through this season it's the uh, passing of the baton now, isn't it? There are new heroes now. There are the Marcus Smiths. There are the Alex Dombrants, who we hope we'll be talking about in a long, long, long time from now, will be the players who brought more success and legend to this club. Well, there are plenty of safe hands to pass the baton to. I'm going to let you get those vocal cords on ice. Always lovely to have a chat, Mike. And I am going to try and corner some Harlequins here to have a chat with. But... How good's Mike Bovill, by the way? Unbelievable. Hopefully they clip that up and use it. But uh, the lads are on their way round now. Let's see if we can get an Alex Dombrandt. Oh, Taps and Lewis. Is that who we're getting? Very good. There's Ali. He's done a great job this year. There's Domers, Dino. He's in the wars a little bit, Dino is. he got Webb there in his pink T-shirt. Tom Lorde. Big oh, smile on your face, and I'm not surprised. Step in front of this one here. Straight past it. Right. First things first, yep. there was a try disallowed for what looked like a perfectly good clear out, and we didn't have the refs, Mike. What did you get a rollick in for? Um, so a bit of an elbow tuck. Okay. Uh, letter of the law, I guess. They're, they're trying to make the game of it safe. For letter of the law, probably was a penalty, so no complaints, really. Um, what do you want to talk about first, the post match or the actual match? Uh, actual match. Another, get, that, get that out of the way. Another 50 points. Yeah. Um, it, it's interesting, isn't it? Because fourth place was guaranteed, but it's all about momentum now. Yeah, definitely. There were moments in that game that, from the stands, looked incredible. What was it like out there yeah. to play? Yeah, oh, it was really fast-paced. It was, yeah, everyone was really energetic. Obviously, a beautiful day for running rugby. We're just trying to play the Quinn's way, like enjoy it, score points, score tries, play razzle-dazzle, like Suva always says. Um, 
keeping keeping uh, the opposition score under 30 as well. It's the first time we've done that for a few weeks, so we're making strides in our defence. We kind of knew what was coming from Newcastle, like one-off runners and all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, I think we can be really happy and, uh, as you said, take momentum from this straight into Bristol next week. Speaking of razzle-dazzle, a little no-look pass to put Lewis <laughs> Liner in. <laughs> yeah, he called it. He called it, to be fair. Um, I was obviously hugging the touchline, caught it. And he gave me the comm saying he was coming on my outside shoulder, so I just had to trust him, trust the skills, and yeah, thankfully it paid off. Uh, another 50 points, which, let's be honest, against the Newcastle side, who really came to play, they looked incredibly physical today. Quinns have done very well. Yeah, 100%. I didn't quite catch that question because of some background noise, but 50 points, loads of tries. Um, no, loads of, yeah, it was just great. It was just great. What about the physicality of Newcastle? They look like a tough bunch. Yeah, yeah, oh, 100%. We knew what they were coming with, like one of runners. Uh, they tried to get a Marcus quite a lot. He fronted up big time, which was awesome. Um, and, and then, yeah, we, 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 we just put the hard graft in. So. What about this group? Big announcement at the start of the week. 11 players leaving. Some have had a real integral part in the first team, but everyone has an integral part in the club. It's not just yeah. who we see on a Saturday afternoon. Just kind of sum up this group of players for us, if you can. It's just amazing, like the work ethic around. I'm not sure how many are in the squad. Probably 50, 60. But the work, the, the work ethic across the board is just unbelievable. Like, obviously, boys are going to be. Some boys will be disappointed not to have been involved today in previous matches, but. They turn up day-to-day -day training with a positive attitude, with loads of energy, and that preps us for games like this. And it's so important, like, we can't underestimate anyone's kind of individual role. Everyone has such a vital, vital role to play, and it's, it's just great. Two more wins, and you're a Premiership champion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I can't let you go without um, having a word on Brownie. Obviously, he's, he's one of 11, and they'll all be missed in their own individual ways. But very few individuals get to make an impact on a club, on an institution, the way Mike Brown has here. It's, it's I, can't, I can't really put it into words. I, I, I mean, I, I, I've only been in Premiership Rugby. This is my third season in Premiership Rugby. So I used to watch him when I was at uni, before I was at uni. I've been watching him for years. And to, to kind of play with him at the age of, again, he's 34 maybe? I'm not sure. But for him to you know, keep his body in the shape that he has done, for him to play... As tough as, as tough as he does for all those years to be the most capped England fullback, to be the most capped Harlequin, it's just it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Like you know, you won't see something like that for a long time, if if ever again. Yeah, but you're going to put one on him when he comes back here next season. 100, oh, 100. <laughs> hey, well played today, mate. Always Thank a you. pleasure, Cheers, guys, to have a chat. Tom Lorde. Oh, Benny Taps. Oh, we got Lewis as well. Oh. Oh, back God. in the team, back on uh, the score finally. sheet. God. Well played, mate. How no, was thank it? Thank you very much. No, it was, um, it was amazing to be at, back out here with fans. I mean, it's been over two months since I've played and it's been hard watching the boys run out with fans, but now I'm finally back and what day for it, sun shining, what win, 54-26. I mean, they couldn't be better than that. Was this your first one in front of supporters? Yeah, uh, apart from September 2019, Prem Cup against Bristol. That was the last time I played in front of fans. Wow. So it's a pretty special moment for me. A bit and, emotional, but... And you got to score right in the corner yeah. in front of some supporters yeah. as well. What was that sort of reception like? Yeah, I didn't really know what to do when I scored. I was, I was thinking over in my head before the game, do I throw the ball, do I get up, shout at the supporters? I mean, I kind of just hugged Danny. So <laughs> it was quite a surreal moment. It all happened so fast. And I'm just so happy that I could score and help the team put in an emphatic performance. Uh, how's the body then? Of course, you've been out injured for a little mm. while. Hard shift there. Mm. I was saying to Tom earlier, Newcastle, very physical yeah. side. How have you held up? Yeah, no, being a winger, at least I don't have to do what the forwards do. They had, they fought tough back and put the backs in the front, on the front, front foot. And I, without them, we wouldn't be where we are. So, I mean, the body's pulling through. Okay, I'll, I'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. I'll, we'll probably see what happens then, but I think it'll be good and ready for next week. It feels like a bit of a new era at mm -hmm. Quinns. You've had a great season, Kenner's in the yeah. last few weeks, mm -hmm. Luke Northmore's had a breakthrough season, yeah. as has Will Evans, yeah. Tiz, Finn, Lennox made his debut as well. I've missed a few out, but we talk about the special group, the seniors, we'll come on to them, but talk to me about you youngsters, the next generation. Yes. You seem like you've really bonded well and you're ready mm -hmm. to make a big impact. Yeah, no, I think... Um, because um, the majority of the squad now is quite young. I think we've got an, uh, next year we'll have an average age of 24, I think, something like that, which is really exciting news. And I mean, we ca all came from me, like you were saying, Kenner's me, 
Uh, Luca came in at the start, the start of last season. Rev as well, like we all came through together and a lot of us came through the academy and it's quite special to have that and I think when we go out and play together it's, it brings us to another level playing in front of our family. I mean me and Kenneth live down the road, we live two minutes away from each other so I mean it's pretty special for us when we play. I remember when we had a conversation at the beginning of the season in one of the early Harlequins lives, yeah. you spoke so highly of Brownie mm -hmm. and the way he's really helped you bring yeah. your game on. Um, just give us a, a few more words on, on that relationship and mm -hmm. sort of what having somebody like him as a mentor, if you like, has been for you yeah. in the early stages of your pro career. I mean, um, we heard what Dee said and what Brownie said himself about what Brownie's done for this club. I mean, 17 years, he's won the Prem, he's won the, the European, the Challenge Cup. I mean, he's almost, he's won it all. And to me, it's something else. He's my mentor, obviously, but I regard him as a really good friend. And I don't think I would be where I am in my career so early on if it wasn't for him. So I've got a lot to, a lot I owe to him. And I'm excited to play him next season. I wonder what he's going to come at me with if I get the opportunity to play against him. But um, I couldn't thank him enough, and I hope he knows what he's done for my, me and my career and helped me with my family as well. And just, he's, I, I don't have the words to describe what he's done for me, so I, I, I'm so thankful for him and what uh, he's done. Incredible words, but what I will say is I can't wait for next season when you skin him on the outside no, and you'll have say. that video forever. <laughs> he, won't, he won't like that. <laughs> no, really. uh, finally then, semi-final next yeah. week. Absolutely huge. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling going into sort of the next week and the build-up to that occasion? Oh, it's... Um, we, we haven't been in the playoffs since 2013, I think. And I think I think all of us are pretty excited, especially some of the older guys. And even me, I haven't been in the playoffs since I was in school. So, I mean, to experience it in my second season of being a professional rugby player, it's um, pretty special. We're buzzing for it. We, this is exactly the result we wanted going into next week. And I think we'll carry this momentum on and bring it to Bristol next week. Uh, well played today. Great to have you back. Thank and you great to have much, a chat guys. as well. Go enjoy the company Thank you very of the much, lads. Because you. you deserve it. Um, great to have him back. Oh, we've got one more interview as well. I think we got Benny Taps. How exciting. Ah, get a shot of this. You know, you see these lads putting it in every week. World-class rugby players. But then you see what it's all about. Family, friends, brotherhood. Ben. <laughs> you puffed the cheeks out there. That was, uh, that was a tough 80 minutes. How are you feeling? Can't feel my legs, mate. <laughs> Can't feel my legs. Um... Yeah, it was a bit of a grind. Was, I think at the start it was a bit of tip for tat, wasn't it? Um, we scored, they scored, um, but I'm just glad that we, you know, everyone got got off with injury free, and we can just crack on next week. Nice to see you back on the park. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I am. I mean, 20 minutes in, I was questioning uh, <laughs> what I was doing because I was I was done. I was I was looking for, I was looking on the bench already. <laughs> um, but now I'm just glad I got the minutes under the belt and. Uh, yeah, we just got a. We, we just said in the group there that, um, that next week's going to be, you know, every day we've got to try and get better. Brist I think it's Bristol. I'm not too sure who we yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, Bristol. Um, you know, they're a very dangerous side. So we got a. What's the score? 54 26. So we've got to tighten it up again. Um, set, set some goals for next week and then, and then we crack on. Well, we've got two more games. I'm not saying one. It's definitely two. Yeah. Um, but then uh, we'll be saying goodbye. Uh, what are your sort of overriding memories of your time as a Harlequin here? Uh, to be honest, mate, more off the pitch, but I can't say it on camera, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's definitely the Friday night lights at, at the Stoop is, is definitely, um, you know, one to remember. And, um, you know, back in Australia, it's, you play in big stadiums. 50,000 and you only, you only fill up 10, 10 or 20 but it just feels feels much bigger but over here to get a sold out stoop um, obviously with COVID you can't do that but like to get to get the crowds in like, it's unbelievable they actually give us a lift and you you actually don't know that until until it happens so um, yeah plenty of fond memories like I said it's off the field stuff but well, yeah I'm not going to ask you for the off the field <laughs> details what goes on tour stays on tour and all that but the group you seem like an incredibly tight group all kinds of characters yeah. all kinds of backgrounds yeah. but all sort of coming together and loving yeah. each other's company just give us a little insight into what that's yeah, I like think, I, I, th I think the personalities that we've got um, we've got Tex Kavubati who just brings his Fijian flair and you know he, he's joking around to James Lang and Marchant, you get the, they got the brotherly love, and it's a bit weird at times, but that's great. We, we need we need those things to laugh at. We need those things to connect to each other. Um, and then you got the old dogs like Danny, Joe, 
Collie has been here for a long time, um, Brownie. So those guys just just take care of the culture. And honestly, if those when you got when you got those guys there, it's it's actually easy to follow um, because they've been here, they've they've done it, they've created the culture, and now all the other boys that have joined just know what they're coming into. So I, I when I first came in. The culture just hit me like a brick wall. You, you could just tell the boys were tight. The boys were, the boys were. Um, you could see like the Harlequin way, and we and we we, 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 we rave about it on it now. How we? Oh, do you want to say something? Um, we rave about it now. How we play the Queen's way and stuff. But it's, it's it's honestly got to do with the group. It's got to do with the different person, the personalities that we got, and it's it's great. Two That's more good. wins until another big memory. 100%, mate. Next week we got on the road and then <sighs> cross the road over there, mate. That's the big dance. Biggest, biggest occasion. Um, so just got to get through next week first and then, and then we'll go from there. Good luck for Cheers, that mate. and for everything else. Thank you. Go be a dad. Go be a teammate. Thank Have you, Harlequins. Cheers. Come on. <sighs> what a way to end the season. A fantastic victory, 50 points. The pride fixture went down a storm. And that is our last show of the year, believe it or not. Thank you for sticking with us. We'll be back next year. I don't want to sound too old, Alan Partridge. Do I have another series? But fingers crossed we will. Um, I think we've heard it from the lads there. We've got Lewis Liner, the next generation of Harlequin superstar. We've got Benny Taps, who's been there, seen it, done it on the international stage. They tell us about the culture and it genuinely, genuinely exists. It's a real thing. Um, we haven't done the final competition winner but I will do the final competition winner and we'll get in touch. Uh, thank you to everyone who's entered the competitions. Congratulations to everybody who's won throughout the season. And now your job moves to being a full-on supporter again. It is Bristol Bears in the semi-final. Then maybe, as Benny Tapp said, a big dance over the road at the big stoop. <sighs> maybe I'll see you there. Fingers crossed. But until we get to speak again, come on, you Quins. Goodbye. <laughs>